are you saying honestly that you were hiding behind your your books from your marriage definitely Whoa! Because it was even brought up when you know most elders when there's a situation in the family. Oh yeah, yeah. They say they will, yeah, talk. they will be talking yeah. whatever. It was like he's always studying, because I would make it sure that when I study, I study. <laughs> and 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 when you ask proof, I have proof. Throughout my 15 years, I've been counting the sexual intercourse. It's 285. <laughs> oh, you counted? Yes, I counted because it was a violation. Ah, kibai mi sagadi pipe ba usiba. I'm telling you, at the mall that I stay, I give him his agate pipe. You can see some ladies; they, they, there's a love or hate in their eye. Mm. Even some of them, their husband, they will say, "I can't do anything. I've been ufana no chow." Oh yes, you talk to And and when I walk, even you can feel my presence. King King David Studio Podcast. Uh, today you're going to learn a, a thing or two, uh, not about statistics, not about economics. Uh, but it'll be from a statistician and economist. But it'll be talk- telling us about something completely different. I have with me uh, Dr. Makakula, Dr. Spuso Makakula, uh, whose life is interesting, and I've I've read about it, and I find it fascinating. Even now, I'm putting on my shirt. <laughs> what I'm about to engage in is something tricky, but I will navigate to it uh, through it as best as I can. Dr. Makakula, are you well? I uh, know I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. How do I? I'm glad it's a doctor title. Then it's yes. not a he or a she. It's a yes. it's a doctor. It makes it easy. Yeah, it makes it easy because then you would ask your pronouns and most people get it wrong because they think because you're a drag queen, you classify as a she, whereby we classify as a he because we see ourselves as men, but uh, when coming to clothes, especially when you are non-binary, yeah. when you see an outfit, there's just an outfit. You don't attach it to gender. Have you always been interested in female clothing and i'll use cl- clothing yes. as a reference yes because there's more to it than just the clothes yes so have you always been interested in the in the female clothing i don't know how many heels of my mom i broke while she was in church on thursday <laughs> i would try them out and sometimes i'll miss the posture and whatever and i would twist my ankle at times but you Try, learn trying the shoes trying the shoes but it's not because i couldn't walk on them it's because they were too big okay for my feet but you were interested yeah i was interested even when she put on her makeup and uh the oil and uh you see i, w- I would look attentively yes. and then my dad would notice it and would say eh, i think it's time to go to bed because he was afraid what is witnessing here oh no you see yeah did your dad ever feel the need to uh, to, to discuss it at all no Everyone at home they went silent and I was punished to watch soccer. So <laughs> so back in back in the day I mean it was the days uh when people were playing at Orlando Paris there were Helmen Kelele, yes. Jerry Scosana. Yes. yes, I used to watch all of those soccer games. Are you, are you still interested? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to check. <laughs> no, 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 no. But but I don't mind it in the social setting though. Yeah, of course. In the yeah. social setting is nice. I can watch it and I know the rules, what's an offside, what is a free of course, kick. Of course. And all of those yes. stuff. What don't is... worry, there's a lot of people who don't know what is an offside. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I find it fascinating how there are people who don't. And I'm glad you said you know how how it, yes. what, what it is. Yeah. I, I want you to understand, because you know, reading your story, something comes up very clearly is that you this was a journey yes and i think to a large extent it continues to be a journey yes you're not done so to speak no i'm not done. you haven't arrived yet I haven't there's yet a lot begun. of things you've, yeah. you've arrived at mm. but but there's a lot more that you're still going through yes because you've been married yes. uh, to a to a lady yes uh, you have a, a family together yes and so forth and so forth so you'll break down all of that but i want to okay. go back to velcom yes here you are you're born in the 80s yes into what type of setup and and not necessarily yeah. in terms of your own life and your yes. identity, but the family structure. What what who did you find when you were born? Okay, when I was born, I found my grandfather, yeah, which is my uh, father's father and the wife, my grandmother. They were heavily Christian. Okay, and my grandfather was a pastor. Yo. my dad was uh, one of the youth people in the church and. At age 30 or something like that, was promoted to an elder, which was not seen before. Yes. So I grew up in a very Christian Christian family. Yeah. And 
and and being born like myself and the way I am, it was cut off immediately. But when you were young, you were a boy. You were yes, I was a boy in I, the house. You were you were smu. Yeah, I was smu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, at home uh, I was a bit reserved. Okay. And it's only now in hindsight when I look at my life is because. I was playing an a, a act or I was being an actor mm. and and at times when you're an actor you are tired of improvising yeah. so it takes all the energy out you of you you can't act all the time you can't act all the time so most of the people who grew around me if you ask them uh what type is usbusi so they will tell you uh he's a quiet person he likes to be reserved now they are surprised i've grown up i'm out of the shell <laughs> Every Friday I'm posting somewhere having fun. Yeah. And they're like, uh, is it midlife crisis is because I was acting now they're meeting the real me. Yeah. Behind the whole facade of masculinity and yeah. So the 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 boys you grew up with who would remember you as one of their friends. Yes. And 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 that's all we used to fight over girls. <laughs> uh, to 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 see to see who can uh, court a certain girl fast. You know Kokasim uh, they would tell you uh that chick uh, you won't be able to tackle that and chick and you say let me show and you say i'll show you i'll get the number of that chick and no more stuff if you don't mind uh, share with us some of you'll share with us some of your pictures when mm. you were a kid yes definitely cuz cuz it's two different people in es- in essence yes it is and if if i'm right your story is two different people not even very long ago yes wow okay you'll tell us and how do you break into the family What do you do to show them that this is not who I really am? Did you feel the need to do it at any point besides the makeup and so forth? I I felt that I needed to approach it but I couldn't, eh? Yeah. I mean my dad was still alive. I mean, yeah, that's another story. Oh no. Yeah, he was still alive, so yeah, I had to wait. Was he a, a big stumbling block in, in Yeah, he was he, he was very he was a disciplinary, he was very strict and he was as well religious and I guess me don't wanting to disappoint him because I'm one person that was running away from this life. I for two thing not to really? be classified because of my dad and his teaching and growing up in a location where by fathers are absent, mind was there. Yeah. So I didn't want to disappoint this man that That's around. Yeah, that's around and gave so much of his life to make sure that uh we go to multiracial schools mm. and all of that and eventually varsity yeah. and so for me it was like a shameful act to come out so largely to him yes so and yeah. your mom in the picture my mom my mom always knew eh because secretly when we would cook together we're like hein tombi tata uh, go 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 fetch the tomatoes or something like that but she was self correct when my dad is around yeah I think mother Solis knows <laughs> she knew but never brought it up never openly brought it up. as as a conversation. Now but they're now bring it up when I'm out they were like yeah we could see the signs and whatever I'm like guys why didn't you come out I wouldn't have wasted another child's life and marrying a girl and now and your life and my life as well because last time I was living like this freely it was when I was 22 so 15 years of my life has been taken away now I'm out in the closet I'm finding there is twitter there is instagram there is even hookup sites i don't know what's going there yeah. and sometimes what Hobbies. you what you see there is not what you get eventually oh. so and it's even dangerous and there is even now money sexuals people that act as if they are homosexuals but because of what you can give to them they will play the part and and rob you and rob you so it is a whole different way wait a minute there are people yeah. who Do you find them on sites? Do you find them on <laughs> <laughs> They usually they post themselves as masseuse. Okay. They okay. have like an ad an ad whatever masseuse yes, whatever yes. you are interested you go to a, you go there maybe to relax your pain whatever your back pain mm-hmm. and then they tell you there's a happy ending but for a happy ending you need to pay uh 500 rand. But but you don't start this knowing that you're going to a a gay or or a trans person you're going for a massage you are going for a massage so so they get to like with conversation okay. to get you where's your mindset and okay. whatever and whatever and then once you have found one that you know they do that 
you occasionally go there. Yes, yes. I mean, but you say there's some who pretend to be, and yet they're not. Yes. So, so there I was talking about people that we date. Oh boy, there are people you date who pretend. Who pretend, and and when you date them, you find they have a girlfriend. Others have wives and whatever. They're straight. They're straight, but but because of your financial means oh. and what you can provide to them. Wow. They tend to to play that part. But in the end, when it comes out, you are hurt. Of course. And destroyed. Because you fell in love or whatever it is yeah. that you've done. So with me, I've labeled them as money sexuals. Because, <laughs> because really it's money that drives their sexuality. That's what so. it is. Yeah, they're not they're not physically, even mentally, even yes. emotionally, they are just there to make money. Yes. Wow. Let's go back. I wanna go back. I wanna okay. go back to, to the young uh, uh Smusiso. Yes. Friends that you remember that may have picked up when you were a kid? Or you were good at hiding was, it when you were in the streets? I was so good, eh? You were a boy. I was, even I could bump and even my hands, hold it at the back there, you slaunch a bit, and then when you step down one, two, you go forward. It will give you a nice kick. Nobody's going to come next to you when you walk like that. Explain that as a as a guy. <laughs> yes, as a guy. <laughs> So, so you are, you you give a what a tough guy a posture. Yeah, tough guy posture, and and then and then you lock the gates. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm telling you, no one is going to bother you. Jeez, man, I'm trying to understand because it must have been difficult though. Yes. To, it's tricky already at home. Yes. It must have been just as difficult out in the streets. Yes, it is. Give us a sense of that. Do you know what was the most difficult? Like, for example, you have guy friends and you know guys that would just walk naked around. Of course. And sometimes you're crashing on somebody and they're oh. busy walking around here. Oh, you yeah. don't know whether should I look up, should I look down? And sometimes they're like, hey, show me, see, I have a pimple here in my thigh. You're like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> why are you tempting me now? <laughs> you see, you're so conflicted, but they don't understand. They're like, show me, are you shy of naked people? And they ended up knowing me that, I'm sure I've seen naked, naked people, people, but they didn't know there's... There's a lot more. There's a lot more that was going around. I'm trying to understand how, how your mind works in this context. Okay, here's a naked guy. To you, it's the sexual, same sexual attraction I would have yes. to a naked girl. To a naked girl. Same exact experience, yes, essentially. Definitely. And then what happens when you see a naked girl? Uh, Mind is powerful, eh? Uh, because I was married for 15 years. That's why I'm asking. And successfully. <laughs> that's why I'm asking. Mind is a powerful thing. You need to, even the position of the sexual act, you need to position in such a way that you are not facing the female element, if you understand what I'm I'm saying. So so you're able to condition the mind you, yes. to in, enjoying this experience, yes. irrespective of, irrespective of what are. is happening. And as well, a shaded room. Not Whoa. too much light. Oh. You see. <laughs> so you don't see much. You don't see much or uh, beneath the blanket. You see. So so you need to strategize so that you can be able to condition your mind. Because once the mind realizes what is happening, nothing is going to happen. It loses interest. Yes. And and although I will not touch on my marriage at the moment of because course. I'm going to divorce, oh. that is one of the biggest things that we used to fight about. It was intimacy. Oh, no. And you know why. And I know why. And that's even why I did a master's and PhD. Because, <laughs> because I was like, if I'm just coming from work, I'll be here at half past four. Yeah. But if I'm doing master's with Eunice, then I can come back at around about one o'clock. <laughs> and I'm tired because I've been reading articles. And then I saw that master's is finished. Now, what do I do? PhD. PhD. And make it to drag as well. Are you saying honestly that you were hiding behind your your books from your marriage? Definitely. Whoa. Because it was even brought up when you know most elders when there's a situation in the family. Oh yeah, yeah. They say they will, yeah, there will be talk yeah. and whatever. It was like he's always studying. Because I would make it sure that when I study, I study. 
<laughs> and, and and when you ask proof, I have proof. Yes, there you well, there I you give you I give you a chapter and I tell you this is a literature review I was doing and this guy was saying this interesting thing and it's similar to that other guy from 22. Just to show you that I was working <laughs> at Vets. I was not playing or or, or being at some club and, and whatever. Well in, in hindsight, I'm sure you don't regret the studies because <laughs> mm-hmm. in the long run they benefited your life. Even now. Yeah. Even now because like, for example, it took time to sort of understand what I am. Yeah. Because in the mainstream, it's all about, uh, uh, if if I may say it, about uh, coherent uh, sexual minorities. The mm-hmm. people that uh, believe into, like, goes into hetero heterosexual norms and yes. they, they want to be uh, to behave around that context. Mm-hmm. That is what is currently popularized. But for us, if you want to get literature about drag queens, it's on journals. And without my PhD qualification, yeah. I would have never been able to disseminate the information and make it to un- to understand it and as well apply it to my life. But your, your PhD is, what, what, what did you research? With your okay, PhD? so I was researching the impact uh, of foreign banks in BRICS banking markets. Oh, yes, yes. So yes. it was basically a mixture of finance economics and econometrics because I was taking from the point that I was wanting to apply econo- uh, statistics to economics yeah. because I regard myself as an applied statistician. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, you work for a arguably the most important uh, institution in the country. Yes. Uh, tell us, who do you work for? Okay, I work for the South African Reserve Bank. Yeah. And I am in a department called uh, Prudential Authority. Mm. So basically, we are the people that supervise banks. And as well, we do monitor to some extent if there's any crises that are going to arise. So I I am in market risk. Ah. So basically, market risk in simple terms, uh, we are interested in the financial loss uh, due to trading. Mm, mm. So, yeah. How long have you been with the Reserve Bank? Uh, it was quite recent because I've, I've been in banking for 15 years. Uh, so I've worked for three of the five banks. Yeah. So most of my career, it was in risk and auditing. So there are colleagues who remember you very differently. Uh, it's only the Reserve Bank colleagues yeah. that know me this way because I recently came out. So all the people that I've worked for in the various uh, institutions, when they see this interview, they're like, what happened? <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Midlife crisis is close to 40. No wonder. You have you, you have a negative perspective of it. Look, you use the word shame. You use the word <laughs> midlife crisis. Yeah. So you obviously expect almost a, a negative perspective. Why is that? It's because it's, it's, it's what I'm getting oh, daily. Really? Daily. I mean, I stay in Sky City. Oh. So we stay close to the mall. When you walk to the mall, you hear the, the staring uh, you hear the giggles. Uh, you hear some guys telling you, I'm Kise Shell and I'm Dombi. And then they're not saying in a pleasing manner because what is followed after is then a giggle. And then you hear some. So they're making fun of you. Yeah, some yeah. people, they have actual hate in their face. You're like, if I meet this one and it's dark, I'm dead. Whoa. So that's why I've always seen being me being troubled. But I'm like, I've been in the closet for 15 years. I am not going back there. It's not nice. How do you manage it? How do you live with with all this thing that you go through on a daily basis? This cat calling, which obviously is done with the aim of Mm. of getting to you. How do you deal with it? At the moment, I have headphones. Mm. Put Deep House because (laughs) I like uh, songs from uh, St. Eva. Okay. So I listen to Deep House and your Shemsas and so on and so forth, your black coffee. Yeah. And then I put it on full blast. I don't know what it's doing to my ears in the long run. <laughs> but but you know but, what it's doing to your peace. <laughs> yeah, to my peace. So I would just see them smiling, but now it's better because I don't hear it. Yeah. Because when I come home, I used to be stressed, Ooh. wanting to cry and all the time. But I was like, the only thing, let me just block the noise. Yeah. And then let's see. You seem like a, a man who has options and I, I'll use this with yes. my ignorance. Yes. You say you know the life of being in the closet. It wasn't yes. nice. Yes. Now you have a life of of people calling you names and, and making fun and so forth. Yes. If you had to compare the two. 
which uh, one i think it's obvious but which one do you feel it's it's more harsh or difficult to live in which world of the guy who's in the closet or you now who's getting cat calls getting people i imagine in meetings people yes. are meeting you for the first time yeah so i will answer it this way if you're in the closet the hardness is coming from internal uh, mm. and the harshness is coming from internal you can regulate okay and then if you're out of the closet then it's an external force yeah and you don't know at what extent is it coming because every time even the cat calling sometimes they can skip even the harshness okay come to close contact and all of those so Whoa, yes. even the extremeness of the situation you cannot like include into a model if this was like any other a risk model whereby you are using scenarios yes this scenario will require a committee to sit and decide on how to to deal with to it. deal with it so from from answering from that perspective being in the closet was much more simpler than now and allow the ignorance in my yes. in my questions why then live this life if the 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 closet was easier the closet it you think it's easier okay but the after effects because i survived two suicide attempts mm. so the third one i don't think i'll be that lucky Ooh. And as well you have rage inside inside you can you can, essentially you're saying you can bottle it but you you're you're damaging yourself you are damaging yourself even self esteem because currently I'm on antidepressant lexamal you at my age Jeez. because I'm suffering from depression and and being anxious because when I leave my house I don't know what am I going to expect and all my life I was an anxious But now I'm so anxious when I'm about to leave, especially when I feel like wearing a skimpy dress because I've been doing squats all all December long so I want to show my thighs but now I'm thinking <laughs> squats my, also give you a bum you see with me the most unfortunate thing is that I have an English butt ah. the, yeah you see so you can't even see it well Askies. you see so, you're like me <laughs> yeah you English see butt. so it, it's such an unfortunate thing for me jeez yeah. now now you go you go to to high school mm -hmm. and Actually no let's go to primary if at all teachers picked up anything the only time it was picked up it was when i was going to high school the reason for that it was because it was at the age whereby i was experiencing hormones and all course, of those things course. attraction so there were some teachers that would sort of pick it but they would guess it's a phase because that's what in black communities most parents think yeah it's a phase it will pass what would they for example pick up in a schooling environment because uh, it's tricky these things you know you are a guy you see a girl you like them you you try or share or whatever in mm. your case what was going on so with me is that in terms of shellering and whatever mm. i would only shella one girl and i dated one girl in the entire high school high school period okay because i didn't want to be known for that and then but the way they would pick it up is that i was much more comfortable in terms in even my confidence when i was talking to girls but not talking to girls about courting them talking to girls about girl things as friends as friends and and i would even like to listen to their boy stories because i wish i had that <laughs> i didn't have a girl problem i had this problem <laughs> you had a boy problem i had a boy problem that didn't come uh, to check you for two weeks and wow. now and now and now because I know, is that a thing do girls want that Yeah some at at my at, <laughs> around Falcom that's what they okay. wanted to be checked on and now they think that if the guy now calls them when the parents are not there why why didn't come for the other two weeks I wish I had those that problem Were the girls aware that they were talking to one of their buddies in that context because as you say you were having a chat with friends yes. not with girlfriends no rather with girlfriends Yes not with with lovers so to speak or potential girlfriend yeah the <laughs> reason why they didn't notice is because i was reading a lot remember we had that uh, drum magazine or something yeah, yeah, yeah. like that yeah, absolutely. so i used to read that a lot yeah. so i became like their therapist so even the angle that i chose i didn't want to go there hi show me whatever show me that would be obvious you were a boy i was a boy talking to girls 
about boy problems because I know boys better because I'm a boy. Yes. So I was coming from But that. But Sidoli was your manuscript. Yeah, you it was really... my manuscript. <laughs> I used to like it a lot. That's amazing. Yeah. At what stage did you find that this life is not easy? Like like yeah. I'm, I'm talking about here's a here's a kid who's been hiding it. It keeps showing itself where, wherever it shows itself. Yes. But at what stage did you think but this is a difficult life to live. When I started to reach an age where I had to be intimate with a woman. Whoa. Because remember, for straight guys, being intimate with a woman is like what they want. Mm. But to me, it's a violation. But at the same time, when it's a violation, it's like a dichotomous situation. Mm. It's a violation this side. On the other side, the person that is in the act is doing out of love. So you feel pity for them. For the girl. For the girl. Yeah. But you hate everyone else that put you into the closet. So for me that in my life, I've been terming it as the voluntary rape syndrome. Let's step back. Yes. Who is being violated in this context? Me. You. Me. You are, you, that's why you call it voluntary because you are a willing participant. You are a willing participant. Nobody's forcing you. Yeah. It's an agreed situation but, that is happening. But your experience. Your experience. At times I could hide it and would sort of cackle. At other times I would immediately have to go wash because the scent, oh. it was too much. Was there any enjoyment at all in this experience? When I was drunk, though, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I was drunk and, yeah. Because you can, the, you the can, mind thinks the, differently. The, the, the mind is so fluid at that time. Yeah, so. it's just moving yeah. with it. But when I'm sober, yeah, it's a it's a mission because that's what we fought about yes. in all of my relationship, whereby other other girls, they would say that guys, they wanted to marry with me. Yeah, you would be lucky. Like, like throughout my 15 years, I've been counting the sexual intercourse. It's 285. Oh, you counted? Yes, I counted because it was a violation. So to you, the experience was negative. It was negative. So when something is negative, you count it. And I like numbers. So I was <laughs> just counting it, <laughs> writing notes. Wow. Yeah. In your story, there's a reference to a, a rape experience. I don't know if you're willing to talk, talk about it. What is yeah. that? Okay, so... You know, when you're a person you like, like, for example, going with friends, mm. you get drunk. I'm going to be brief, not to go into detail. You get drunk. Mm. And then when you woke up, you woke up otherwise. Oh. Almost, yeah. almost like drugged. Those, drugged. Those type of experiences. Yeah, but, yes. yeah like, like, for example, I was overly drunk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know whether where... there was drugs or whatever, okay, but I was overly yes. drunk. Yeah. But the, what I hate about myself is that when I woke up, although I saw the discomfort and the pain, whatever, mm. I actually felt like I've been myself for the first time. What? But then every time you hate yourself because you are not honest with your family, that's when you as a kid, you start to become more reserved. Hence, it's why most people that knew me in my teen years, they'll tell you he's always indoors. Yeah. He always uh, wants to be alone. Huh. It's because I, ca I could feel that people could see that this sense of violation has happened. Yeah. And and at the same time, I hate myself that I sort of enjoyed it, but yet I'm hurt. Does that mean I, th that's when I even started following a uh, criminology uh, documentary about psychopath and whatever, yeah. because I needed to understand whereby do I fall uh, in either of this? Am I a Ted Bundy in the up making or whatever? <laughs> thank because, God. Thank God <laughs> it, was, it was not like that. It was, it was just that it's because the society uh, made my sexuality a criminal act. Yeah. That's why when certain violation happens to us, we cannot voice them out. Because when you voice them out, they were like, you are doing a criminal act. So what were you expecting? Help us understand this. You were, was the rape a guy on, a, on you? So we understand it exactly. It was a train. Let me put it like that. What? It was a train. Of guys? Yeah, it was a train. So, and the only person, that's why even now family members are still asking why I'm so close to her. 
my auntie who auntie smanya le pola mavis uh-huh. because she is the one that saw the change but she wasn't that type of a person to sort of like intrude wanting to find out she showered me with love she made sure that if i'm saying something i'm listened so the change that she noticed was this you being reserved me being reserved me staying at home and studying although i was doing well even while i was playing with friends yes but now she could say but why are you not like that mm-hmm. and she could see that i was not going there and she's like okay you are staying at home i'm staying at home with you let's work wow I'm sorry man my brain is stuck on the train <laughs> just bear with me. oh the train <laughs> just bear with me because i'm trying to understand that the guys who did this mm. why did they pick you and i and i know it's the yeah. it's, I, i'm asking questions that you probably don't have answers to but why was it you and why was it a a male on a guy sexual act so to speak you know that they should have done it to a girl yeah. but you get what i'm trying to yeah. to say here why did they do that you know were, were you giving out signs that said i'm i'm open for business i guess as well when you become drunk maybe i dance too feminine ah because because this was not a conscious act whereby i was physically up i could see and realize what was, what happening. was happening yeah so but i know myself when i do uh come drunk mm. uh, even my manager <laughs> noxy she even knows i tend to dance in a way that is a bit seductive okay okay so maybe i dance that way but then the question comes if somebody dances in a seductive manner mm. does it suggest which goes to the old age uh, argument that has been happening in South Africa about women attire true if the skirt is too short does it invite you to it's a it's a you that see. argument doesn't work you I'm see, sorry so. and from a, from a guy's perspective it almost says we have no control of of ourselves thanks <laughs> like i couldn't do any i couldn't hold myself you that, see. that that argument doesn't work i'm sorry human beings yes. are able to say no that's wrong i'm not going to do anything you can look and think wow nice mm. and do nothing about it definitely yes yeah. so so in your case you also speak of enjoying it at what point do you does your brain say that was nice okay so for those that don't know anything about gay sex mm. so for example me included yeah for the record. <laughs> yeah so yes. so what's happening is that you have a top you have a bottom okay So the top experience like a man whereby the ejaculation or the pleasure point mm. happens point in time okay. at that time of point of ejaculation. Yeah. But when you are bottom it can happen in two phases. Okay. It can happen when the act is happening and when the muscles are starting to contract back because given that the muscle is a inward muscle. Mm-hmm. You start feeling the the what is it the the pinches uh-huh. and those pinches are also pleasurable because they can also give you an a, orgasm an orgasm but you, is it a male orgasm it's a male or it's a it's a it's a male so, on male yeah no i'm saying you with the with the pinches are you feeling are you then ejaculating yes ah okay. without even doing any job <laughs> so so with me after the whole ordeal yeah because it was such a brutal act mm. so i would feel the pinches for like I think I felt them for like a month. What? Damn, that was the best orgasm I've ever had in my teen life. Wow. So, and again, coming back to think about it, what was done to me? I felt sick. Mm. Who enjoys that? I was supposed to be crunch up and yeah. That must have been a huge revelation for you to discover this about about yourself. Because yeah. I, I was that the first sexual act? That was the first sexual act with guys. Whoa. That's how I was introduced into this whole uh, LGBTQI+. Yes. And that's why I become frustrated when people are still glamorizing the whole gay experience when we haven't reached our point whereby we are living as humans. Yeah. It's like with the same argument that currently blacks are fighting about in this country about uh, economic freedom, they have political freedom. But yeah. without economic freedom what can do with that? No, not so either. we in the legal system we have the right to be who we are, we have the right to marry who we are constitutionally. Constitutionally. Yeah. But in terms of the in the society settings they still like uh 
harsh names ningili enkonkoni mofi stabane she male yeah. yeah you see there's all of those terms but they don't understand what is a psyche that goes with that yeah it's a it's a difficult world i that's why i ask because i mm. try to understand i I'm, i can only see the world from a guy's point yes. of view it's not easy for me and i interesting the last conversation i had was with someone who is who believes strongly in women's rights yes and 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 one thing that she said very clearly was that it's difficult for men to understand it because it's not a lived experience yeah it's not it's a to us it's always stories yeah you know and and, and maybe we can't live it through those we love and we know who mm. are close by Yes. But they'll always tell you a story. Yeah. You know what I mean? You'll never quite experience it. That's why for me your your life experience my biggest fascination with the life experience is that you live it every day. Every single day. There's a point you said when you walk out of the house it's it, there's always anxiety. Do you want to know the thought that crossed my mind when you said that? <laughs> yeah. I saw bungee jumping. Sure. I yeah. saw a person on the edge of a of a high bridge. Yes. And about to jump. Because yes. I've done it a few times, I know yes. the anxiety that comes with it. Yes, definitely. You doubt yourself. You doubt, should I do this? Why am I doing it? I can yeah. stop. I can just stand back. Explain that anxiety for, for your, your experience of that anxiety, that you have to walk out every day and you're wearing a dress. So with me, the first thing when I walk out, I do a catwalk in my little living room yeah. to see the posture. <laughs> the posture must be on point. That's the first thing. Yeah. The makeup must be on point. Wow. Like today I sort of like didn't I partly shaved yes. because I wanted to show the masculinity. Yeah. But when I'm at home, hey, you have to shave, eh? And and that's all you need to use salt immediately after shaving. It sort of like numbs the skin and make it to be softer. Oh. Okay, wow. as yeah, well. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> you you see, and then and then you need to as well wash your face with like, uh, what is it, Vaseline with cough salt. Okay, yes. Because that will give you that smooth texture. It's, it's like exfoliating your whole body all the time. All the time. Hey man, I need to exfoliate him all the time. You see, so <laughs> and then once you have the confidence, you play your favorite music. Like with me at the moment, I like the song by Uhuru. It's a uh, bukeka. Yes, something yes. I love that song. So does it give you the bounce? It, it give me the bounce, and <laughs> and there's another one as well, free, uh, by Lady Boat, mm. because that song, the the thing is say, I just want to be free. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then I know that I'm ready now. So you 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 use that stuff to prime your mind yes. into believing that. You'll be okay. Yes, and then afterwards, I put my big earphones, volume up, go to the street, lock the gates, walk. And if you are staring, I'll stare you back, but not a nice way. Remove the music. Yes. Remove the posture, the the preparing. Yes. Because it's pretty obvious there's a lot of preparation. Yes. Remove all of that stuff. What would the experience be like? was stepping out of the house without any of those and obviously yeah. you have you have them it's stuff that you do it's, this yes. is a ritual imagine if you didn't have this ritual what would the experience be and going mm -hmm. back to my my bungee jumping yes. anxiety because you seem to to have found a formula to deal with the anxiety yes before all of this what was the case i would feel naked yeah uh, i would feel depressed uh, i would cry a lot jeez I would have rage. Like for example, you would step on my shoe, I'll make it such a big issue because I needed to show that I'm a guy. Jeez. You see, so and as went and as well I wasn't like fun. Ah. Cause there was a lot of Yeah. What was taking away the fun? Because my fun it's what people regard as being feminine. Okay. Because even the way that I dance, even do that and you see so <laughs> you don't you, you don't see any guy doing this if a guy see you start doing this they'll start calling you chomi yeah. immediately yeah you see so so it was it was not easy but you found a way around it yeah how to face the world every day i had to face the world because if i didn't face it i was going to die yeah because i admitted a uh, akiso during covert times <laughs> 
due wow. to the second near suicide. Mm -hmm. And I even caught COVID there and I was discharged and my psychiatrist session were not finished. Because you couldn't go back. I of couldn't go back because now I needed to isolate myself oh, and all of boy. that thing. Oh, and at boy. the same time, I'm staying at a lodge, separated from my wife. So I have no one there and I'm sick and mommy's calling. Are you fine? Are you fine? I'm like, yeah. Wow, man. So I had to come out because that was not life. I didn't have friends. Oh, that at the time you hadn't come out yet? No. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Do you know, I spoke to, to Vatis about her attempted suicide. And somebody said, I, I sound like I'm making fun of it. It's because mm. she tells it like it was, it was not a big deal. Mm. In your case, what was the attempt? So, like, for example, the basic thing, but I'm not going to give the ingredients. There's a lot of people with trouble. Yeah, yeah, good point. I'm yeah, glad you yeah. said that. It was powders. Okay. Use, powders. Yeah. Use powders and then want to numb the pain, want to devour the intestine or whatever. Ah, did you research? Yes, you research. <laughs> and, and the so you planned this? this you, was... Yeah, you plan it. But uh, one thing that people, they don't know, the suicide act is not difficult. Uh. The fail of the suicide, that is the most difficult. To deal with whom? With yourself? For example, you wasted money. Okay. Because you thought you are not going to love this experience. That's the first thing. The third thing uh, is because you didn't focus on your work. Because, because you, were, you yeah, were leaving. You were leaving because uh, there was poor performances at some places that I worked for. It's because I knew I was leaving. Wow. But now that I'm alive, now there's performance appraisal. <laughs> now you're back. You need improvement. You're not getting a bonus. Simple as that. <laughs> you see? It's amazing. We don't think about stuff like that. Because yeah. you, you were planning a, a complete exit. So, so yeah. it didn't matter yes. what you were leaving behind. Yes. And then you cancel policies. What? Because now... I, I don't need this thing. I don't need this thing about car dance and whatever. I can keep the life covered because at least my my child will have something. Yeah. Uh, I can keep the funeral so that uh, they can bury me with a nguni coffin. <laughs> you see. People. So you can leave some some things for your for yourself for your dead self. Yeah, for my dead self. Yeah. Because you can see I'm a flamboyant person, so you don't want to be buried lousy. No, no, not at all. Here. <laughs> so wow, man, that's crazy. You yeah. know, I've never had anybody speak of suicide that way. That. You don't care about your last days because no, you they don't, don't matter. You don't care. And even if somebody is rude to you, you can lash because you know that in two weeks time, they're, because no one speaks ill of the dead. In this country, I've never heard no. anybody saying, oh, it no. was a killer. Yeah. It was an insulting the mother. Nothing. Mm. Everyone, when they die, they become angels. Yeah. So I knew that whatever I'm doing this, in this period was going to be forgiven. Because you'll be gone. Yeah. But now I'm, I survived. Oh, now I need boy. to deal with uh, angry table. <laughs> well, the people whose toes you stepped on. Thank you. Because you didn't think you were coming back. Yes. That's just crazy. I've had them all. Not this version yeah. of people saying, I didn't care. And the reason why I'm, the I'm making like to be a theater or something about it is because when you think about the actual experience, it's so painful. Yeah. This interview will be like uh, old tissues and oh, whatever. No. And... And there's so much that I still want to impart. So no, that's, yeah, why, yeah. that's why I'm Let's making it, the... I'm dramatizing it a bit. Wow, yeah. man. It's actually quite, quite crazy that you, you, your life led to that moment yes. where you wanted to take your life. And how long did it take you to plan for it? Uh, well, thank you to Google. Uh. Uh, bless Google. If you do your research in depth, for like uh, eight weeks, what? you will know exactly what to do. And then you focus on certain things, sedatives. That's long. You need to know what is effective. And and nice thing about this, because I have the, ses, the, the statistic background, so I can even understand the, the Hanover analysis they are doing, mm. the, the treatment versus the, the placebo ones, and, hey, okay. and the okay. results they are reporting in the papers. Yeah. So I can even... From a theoretical <laughs> perspective, understand what is the intent uh, uh, about uh, description about those results that I'm looking at. Yeah. So you are able to see, okay, and even I can even look at it. How much? How many people cited this guy? 
How good? How, <laughs> how good? good is the citation? Yes. How is how is it highly? Is it highly regarded? The citation. You see, and then and then if it's around the thousands, you take it, you read it, and then don't expect to find your answers immediately. Yeah. Because you need to first understand the whole chemistry of what you're talking of, to of herbs and whatever, what is lethal and what is not lethal. And given that you are not subject matter expert, Mm-mm. start first with articles from newspapers and whatever. Read there, gradually understand the, the lingo, the syntax, Jeez. and then move to the academic one. That's where you find a solution. You, you realize that we are analyzing a suicide yeah <laughs> like a, academics you were giving us an academic approach yeah, uh, but, to, to yeah. suicide which is what you did yes wow because even the way i sort of like classify myself to people they don't understand they say you are a drag queen mm. and you trans i'm like drag queens it's, it's individuals that have zero correlation about their gender being misspecified oh so if you unpack that you'll find that this person is actually saying he's a guy that like stresses. That's it. But I give in a technical manner because now I'm trying to show off that I have a bit of stats to a master's <laughs> level. And now I give you all of this bombastic <laughs> words. You studied it more than just on the surface. You say, yes, yes. You, you see. What led you to that decision, the suicide, particularly the one during COVID, as you say? What was it about? Because you've lived with you for so long. But what was it about that moment? I've lived with myself so long, but at that point, I was never insulted by my child. Whoa. You see. Oh, you want to tell us more? So basically what happened, you know, when separation happened, Uh. child picks her side. Mm. Certain financial commitments on my side, I'm not saying I'm innocent. They were not made. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I was expecting that rage to come for my soon-to-be ex-wife, yeah, not for my daughter. And your daughter expressed? Expressed it. And and when they do that, I'm a person that's got so many words. Mm. The only thing I could say, how? (laughs) That's it. I couldn't. I felt paralyzed because this is the last person on earth I was expecting for them to speak to me the way they did. Yeah. And that's what they did. And um, unfortunately, I have to say it, the relationship is broken. I mean, I haven't spoken to her for Whoa. almost like uh, three years now. Have you felt the need as, as a father to try Definitely to, to not. repair it? Not Definitely. I, 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 have, I, I think I have ego issues. But you realize you're talking about your child here. I you, know. You can't carry ego when you're dealing with a child. It's because one thing that happens when you're in the closet your your sense of emotion, yeah, they are sort of immature. I can see it with some of the decisions that I'm still making currently. Yeah, yeah. Some of my peers they don't make such decision. Whoa. So that's why, of my course that I wanted to sort of like as well speak about my life, mm, educate mm. people about my life. Because if we can stop people to be in the closet. So a lot they, would change. They can eliminate a me. Maybe if me, I was allowed to be myself, I would be an individual when you fight with your kid. Yes. you like, I'm the bigger one. Which is what I'm trying to say. You see. <laughs> that you are the adult in this fight. Yeah, you are adult in this fight. But in this fight, because nowadays, you are like, for example, I was in the closet, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And there is zero correlation to your kid. No. Because your not. kid was not born when you went into the closet. No. That's why I say when you're in the closet, you tend to be angry at even an innocent bystanders. Yeah. That's 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 incredible. Has, has, has your ex-wife, or soon-to-be ex-wife, as you call it, tried to repair this relationship? She tried, but she could see, I think. Mm. Because I'm all over TikTok, so she could see that... Even if I try it, it won't. It won't work because she's a heterosexual woman. Tell me though about the the insult without giving too much detail. If you don't okay. have to, was it related to to your sexuality, so to speak? Your your, your the insult from your child. It wasn't meant explicitly, but yeah. implicitly. Ah. If you read what was mentioned, 
Jeez. and the ramification of you continuing yeah. with that act will lead you to. She's huh. man. Because because she's my daughter. Because I'm sharp with words as well. I can write an email that when you re- when you give to somebody to read. They were like, ah, oh, David is fine. But you're like, ah, oh, this person is insulting me here. <laughs> There's certain words that are so nice when you put them together. You, you, have, you have jabs. Yeah. <laughs> so tiny jabs. Yeah, I have tiny jabs. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm a master of jabs. So, I had to give birth to mini jab as well. And she's good with words, eh? Jeez. Look, you know, we I come across uh, people who have fractured relationships with their ch- your children a lot because mm. I have a lot of these conversations. It's, yes. it's the it's a occupational hazard, I guess. This is what I end yes. up having to do to tell you that you need to fix your relationship with your daughter. Definitely, you are the adult in the story. Uh, we should always remember that. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Come. <laughs> definitely. Repair this as soon as possible because fatherlessness is a horrible thing. Yeah. And it's I, a horrible, mm. horrible thing. And I'm trying to get to there, hey? I hope you do it soon. Because yeah. a, a child that grows without a, a father reference of yes. any kind, because yes. because you are a different type of father. Yes. In in this conversation, and it, it yes. a, a child that grows up without a father reference, you the results of it are just ridiculous. In so many ways, in a lot of the mm. social makeup of, of their minds. I don't need to tell you this. You can spend a weekend studying it and you yeah. know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. I will look into <laughs> it. No, fix it. Yeah, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix just it. not yet. It's just that at the moment, I need the divorce thing to be circled. Okay. Okay. Because once it's circled and I know what is the maintenance and whatever, All of that. what is owed, because I refuse to like have informal payment system without mm. having legal system. That is another okay. details which was going to the marriage, okay. whatever. Okay. So I want it to be like legalized. It must be formal. It must be formal. Yeah. Then whatever transgression I've made towards the child mm. in terms of maintenance, I'll cover it there. Yeah. That's why even my pension that of the place that I left, uh-huh. they didn't touch it, is to fix my mistakes. Okay, all right. Because you know your mistakes. Yes, I know my mistakes. <laughs> okay. But now I need to make my heart and my brain know that I know my mistake. Because once I know that, yeah. that's when I'm going to be the bigger person okay. and go to my, chi- to my child and say that, I understand all of this nonsense, just know that I love you. I'm glad you... You are conscious of it. Yes, I am. Because imagine if you were oblivious to it. It's like Bonnie Nicks. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I, I am I am conscious of it because as well, it gives me sleepless night. I was so close to my daughter. Eh? Wow. I mean, we used to have like our morning rides and then she would tell me about what happened, this one, pulled this one, this one, there's a crush on this one. Mm. And then she's going to play netball, she's going to run. And she even looks like me. It's like it's, it's like I was about to deny when she was born. <laughs> so so I don't know. You see, when you're about to deny, the child comes out looking like Yeah, you, 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 you see, so e- even in character, yeah. she's exactly like me. Wow. So you, you made yourself and then you now not doing what you're supposed to do. Well, yes. let's, let's leave it. I'm glad you're aware yes. of your own issues. That yeah, you definitely. Fix. But don't delay them because uh, in raising kids, we don't delay these solutions. We need to, to inject them soon. Look at how your dad had such an important role in your life, mm. good or bad. Yes. It was an important role in your yeah, life. Yeah, I know it was. There's this point that comes across a lot when, when I have such conversations is about ignoring it in the household. Yes. Let's we see something, but we ignore it. Yes. And also in, in some of the documents that you, you've sent us, you speak of it'll self-correct. Yes. How deeply rooted in your observation is that state of mind of saying, I like one. Remember, when you are raising an individual mm. that is of a sexual minority, there's what you call reversal closet syndrome. Okay. You yourself are asking yourself, That's your first hurdle. That's your first thing. Yeah. Your biggest hackle, we black people, we love church. Uh-huh. And if you are an important person and you sit in the first three rows of the church, <laughs> you cannot have such an individual. Yeah. 
So what our parents knew is that our parents didn't like to discuss things that was uh, making them discomfortable. Mm-hmm. Hence, it's why even when the ball play, if Brooke would start kissing Rich, my mom would switch off the TV. And then come back she, after a few Yeah, minutes. she didn't want me to sort of ask, why is this one stung and that one <laughs> to be switched off so that I have nothing. And if I want to cry, I'll be beaten up because why would I want to see grown-up uh-huh, stuff? Kissing, yes. So so they, they have that philosophy that if we don't embrace it, mm. this individual, as we are raising him, the way we are doing and we are practicing this and it's working on other elements of the life, it will work with sexuality. It'll be... So yeah. then, then that means the perspective is that this is a choice. Yes. And you will change your decision. You will change your decision. I tried changing my decisions <laughs> multiple times. I've yes. dated girls. I've tried acting bush. By the end of the day, I felt empty. And I don't think... God creates individuals that are supposedly to feel empty mm. when you have all of these accolades that you are attaining. Yeah. You're supposed to be the most happiest person on earth. That's it. But yet every day you are feeling regret. You are not productive at work. Ugh. You are angry. You always don't want to spend time with the people that you love, which was my daughter at the time. Yes. Because we might say I managed to run away and go do my master's and PhD. Uh-huh. But at that time, that Saturday that I left in the morning and came on Sunday morning at four o'clock and I slept uh, most of the Sunday, Uh my daughter didn't have a father for two days. What impact does that have on a child? Uh I don't know. Only future will tell us when she grows up. Wow. What was happening that weekend? (laughs) Are you willing to tell us? What was happening on that weekend? uh, I saw what my wife bought and it was lingerie. And I knew things were going to happen. So, given me feeling otherwise about the whole matter, you left. Yes, I saw you it. Ran. Yes, I saw it. Hey, press on things. I'm like, hey, keep her hanging it. I ain't got that. And these, there's, a pa- there's papers I need to go and research now. Wow. Man. Definitely, what's in that bag? I. And then he went and went to study. Basically. Yes, I, I had motive. Did she call to say, how can I do, where are you? Yes, and then I told her, I have a, a literature review that I need to <laughs> deliver to uh, Professor Tabang. Uh. She needs it on Tuesday. And you know my supervisor. <laughs> she, she's look, very look, look at your serious face. Yeah, I become serious. <laughs> you need to act. Look at your serious you're like, you're like, And no. you were running away from lingerie. Yeah, I saw it in that bag. I'm like, ah, and Jesus, son. <laughs> this is not for me. I'm like, I, uh-uh. I must tell you, it's the most amazing thing to comprehend as a guy. Because yeah. you, as a guy, you yes. would be excited. Yes, you'd be excited. You're like, I'm staying. Guys, no soccer this weekend. Yeah. I'll, or I'll see you a few minutes. I have to go home. Yeah, you know I have what I mean? Home. Like there's a sense of agency about... Yeah, you see. Because the wife has planned something special. Yes. And for you, it was exactly the opposite. I, to me, when I saw those moments, even when I started, you know when your wife looks at a certain way and you're watching TV, you know like, hey, in the bedroom, something's <laughs> going to happen. <laughs> and you don't want anything to do. I will it. make sure I go and sit in with my daughter, tell her stories... Up until my wife falls asleep because she she's a light sleeper. Wow, man. Because I will make sure that <laughs> <laughs> I I find it incredible. I really, really do. I want to talk about how you identify yourself. Okay. You're a guy. If I was talking to you on the phone, yes. I would be listening to a guy having a chat. Yeah. Uh but you're wearing a dress now. You're seated. Yes. They, they can't quite see it. But mm-hmm. it's a dress. Yes. Um, then how do how do you identify yourself? Help us understand this. So myself, I'm a non-binary drag queen. Okay. I will unpack yeah, them Yeah, help us. So non-binary, it means that I don't classify into the whole binary scenario where there's a male or female. True. I'm fluid in terms of gender. Okay. That's the first thing. Yeah. Drag queen, that means that, and drag queen as well, you can be straight and be a drag queen. Okay. You can be gay. you and just be, like dresses. Yeah, we call them cross dressers. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, you see. So myself, I'm a gay cross cross dresser. 
Okay. That's why I call myself a drag queen because given that I'm gay, I can be flamboyant and and as well I can like uh overshow my femininity. Mm -hmm. And if you go to a dictionary, that's what a drag queen is. It's a it's an almost almost an exaggerated show off yeah, of almost. the feminine feminine Yes. Yeah. And then then they ask you, how are you different to trans? It's because with me, in terms of my what I was born with. I'm happy with it. Whereby a trans individual, what they're seeing down there mm. is not them. And that as well is what we call a uh, gender misspecification. Yes. And there's lots of suicide that are in currently that, happening. In that world. In yes. that world. Yeah. So with me, given that I'm easily emotional person, given that I'm not disturbed by looking down there, I'm actually embracing it. So you have what I have. Yes. And you're happy with it. I'm happy with it and it's not going anywhere. Okay. All right. Got you. Yeah. But when you see another guy that has it, yes, it's sexually arousing, yes. so to speak. Not everybody, of course. Not everybody. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's why I need the classification is tricky. Yes. Because you also speak of of categorize miscategorization. Yeah. Because because for example, what people still need to get around, like if you don't want to offend anybody, ask them what are your pronouns. Yes. You would understand exactly in what sphere they are falling under. Like for me, if you ask my pronouns, I'll tell you I'm a he. And then you can do your research <laughs> and you will find that, okay, most people that classify as he is straight looking gay people and drag queens that are from a sexual minority. Some of them, not all drag queens, classify as a he. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and it's why some people, they call themselves trans, gay, trans, pansexual. And if you remembered my title of the email that I sent you, I mm. said non-binary trans pansexual. You did say I noted it. Yeah. Do you know I was a little lost? And I'll tell you why. Yes. I only solved it when you walked in. Oh. I okay. said, oh, okay. Because I didn't know I didn't know whether I was going to find a guy dressed as a guy but who's just gay. If you get what okay. I mean. Uh, uh, or or one who's wearing a dress, but who is completely feminine, even in their Demeanor, yes. speech, everything. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I was a little lost until I shook your hand and I said, okay, done. That question is solved. Yeah, you see why I classify myself like that and what I told you now is different. Yeah. It's because that was my journey. Okay. And pansexual is a person that is sexually fluid. Mm -hmm. You have slept with all. That's it. I have slept with straight women, uh -huh. gay even trans individuals. Yeah. So by definition, if you go and look at my sexual uh, activity or mm. my history, and given that I wear feminine clothes and given that our society is still ignorant about understanding the classification, then I'm trans, -pans uh, I'm trans pansexual. Does that classification exist? It, do it does. Well, I'll call it officially. Officially, no. Yeah. Because I like making myself terms. That's how I deal. I know with, I realize that. That's how I deal with all of this. I need to I name I need to name it. <laughs> yeah. So that one day uh if I want to write a book or you something might like just. that. <laughs> and then I know exactly what that reference is referring to. Yeah. Is it common? Is your classification common? Because it it doesn't ex does it exist in the in the letters, so to speak. It's a plus. It's a plus because they in the plus as well. There's something called demisexual. What is that? Demisexual is people that fall to uh, like they become like in love with you from an emotional perspective. Oh, yeah, and all of those things is like uh, there's like there's this other one that starts with an S, whereby the person is in love with an intelligent person. Or, oh, jeez. Yeah, you see, so 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 it's one of those high level dimensions. Mm, there's actual. Mm. There's as well uh, what we call asexual. A person that is attracted to themselves, and there's all other stuff. Even True. drag queen is there as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Even other classifications. So drag queen is not in the in the letters. No, I don't think so, hmm. because the the L is for lesbian, the G is for gay, T is for trans, and then Q Q is, Q is for, for queer, queer, yeah. which is like a, a general term. That we use, everyone can call themselves queer. queer in that category, so I, to speak. yeah, in that yeah. category. And then I, it is intersex. Yeah, whereby you you know most. Yeah. Wow, it's a. Do you sometimes judge 
those that don't quite get it. And I say this because it's not easy. Look at how this is a thesis you are you are explaining yeah. here, and the average person just lives a normal life. They we, we grew up in a binary world, yes, and and it's a world that that has existed and continues to exist. Yes. By the way, uh, forever you go look for a toilet, it's a binary setup. You know, yes. there's boys and girls. Yes. Uh, so so that's why I say, do you then judge us for finding it? And I, I add myself in there for not quite getting it. No, with me I don't. Eh? Yeah. With me, the minute like I become the most happiest is when I find an individual that doesn't understand. Because remember, things like drag queen, those are things we are seeing in documentary now about what actually made, uh, uh, what is a sexual minority, a human rights issue. True. If you look at your Jim Compton in San Francisco, uh -huh, or what happened uh -huh. there, your Stonewall and, and the inception of pride yeah. as a night visual, whatever. So... Given that we have all of that history of drag queen being mostly centralized in America, mm -hmm. I don't expect our people to know it because us, a uh, couple of decades ago, we were fighting a different issue. Very different. That was a race issue. Yeah. You now see. we're fighting a poverty we issue. We are fighting a poverty issue. Yeah. But yet, one thing that people they don't understand is that by alienating some of the individuals, like myself, mm. I will never touch a paper that is going to do with economic freedom. There's a reason for that. <laughs> because what if uh, whatever uh, implications I get there, it actually saves the world. Yes. Then I'm also saving the heterosexual that are currently <laughs> making my life difficult. <laughs> I get it completely. So I just look at it and there's lots, of, there's lots of papers that I see and I'm like, mm, okay, if they do, okay, shut. I can't, I can't help these guys yeah, I'm pro like, prosper. I'm like, oh, I shame. Yes. Because with me, like, for example, I work for a good institution. I have my economic freedom. Yes. So if this country wants me to prioritize and look into that, to see and collaborate with other yeah. individuals, to see how we can solve this, but I don't think in our lifetime, no. there's too much mess. We have other things. Yeah, we have other things. We like the, to set the foundation proper. Are you, and I'm, I call you individually because I don't think you, you necessarily represent a community. Yes. You're your own person. Yes. Are you, are you accepting of the fact that gay and lesbian issues, and I use the two yes. deliberately, you know, I use it as a community, yes. are not a priority? Yeah. Are you accepting of that? Yeah. And I say this because... There's there's all sorts of issues that the yes. world is dealing with, yeah. And and you as an individual, because there are those who will say you're crazy. These are most important, and they have to be dealt with now immediately. And there's some who say we all got hunger, we have we have famine, we have in inequality, and so forth and so forth. What what are you saying when 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 uh, your issues are not high on the agenda? Uh, like in the past. I would have rage. Okay. I would be angry that it's not addressed. Yeah. But post my PhD and what I've learned uh. and the type of analysis I can do and understanding the problem from an economic point of view, mm -hmm. I might have answers, but you are judging me. I'm not going to even attempt to look at it. Okay. Because so that means you will also be part of the people who don't treat it as, as priority. Yes. And do you know why? Yeah. Because for example... Remember, in the core sphere, like you have race, you have sexual identity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you have religion. Yeah. There's actual wars in history written about those elements mm. because why? They are a priority to an individual to make them to be productive. True. And to as well to raise their humanity on the other side. Yeah. So now, because if you look at this country, a couple of decades ago, there was apartheid. Mm. And being called uh, the K-word, it was an insult. Continues to be. And it continues yes. to be. But now we sort of put mechanism in such a way that when you call it, it is unpopular to mm. everyone in the world. It's even criminalized. It is even criminalized. Yeah. But yet you're expecting an individual like myself to look into your problems whereby I am still being called yeah. In the same equivalent of that name that I'm not going to mention. Mm. Like I'm called Istaban. Yeah. I'm called Imofi. I'm called Ingil. And then yet to expect me when I see 
problems because there's a reason why we are saying it's a sexual minority because majority of the people are heterosexual yeah. and for biological reasons That's because true. according to biology are meant to appropriate mm. so so for me from that point i'm like given that the masses are these people and these masses are the ones that are ill treating me why should i even look at the issues that affects them yeah, yeah because i'm okay your life your little and i call it little yes. in scale your little corner there is fine it's fine yes i mean i stay you may have your own issues but your little world is fine yes i stay in my house yes <laughs> alone i have my peace I have an inverter so I'm minimal affected <laughs> from load shading. Like so I yeah, I have an inverter so when people are suffering for hours whatever my battery is running and then mm. I can watch series and laugh and <laughs> and eat my popcorn and yes. I'm happy in my own world. I can have 50 rand to go buy two strombos and come sit and I I get it completely. Why solve the problem of the people who are not looking out for you? Essentially that's what you yes. say. These people are not looking out for me. Yeah. Why the hell do I have to spend so much time solving their problems? You see, because I think the dialogue that needs to happen from our community mm. is how we can legalize, we, we can criminalize homophobic behavior oh. on premises that we have a lot of case studies. If African countries around, they are taking the trend of criminalizing homophobic behavior, yeah. the same argument can happen. It's actually happening the other way around. Uh, uh, countries that are taking a stand of criminalizing a being gay or yes. lesbian or any kind. Yes. You see. So when you have that concept whereby you have a country that's saying that being gay, being lesbian or being trans or being drag queen, whatever of the sexual minority, mm -hmm. you should be jailed. Then the same argument needs to hold for all those individuals that... Like in South Africa, we are supposed to be free. Mm. If somebody calls you that name, K word, there must be there act. must be harsh punishment. Yeah. If, for example, there is a a crime of some sort that's linking to a minority, it must be harsh because we are so fast to to fight about causes about endangered species. Of course, yeah. We are not worried about the endangered species that is us yeah. because we are endangered. Jeez. But, 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 but yet when there's polar bears out there, there's like 500 of them. Uh, people go ballistic and there's whole campaigns and, and projects and rhinos and whatever. Rhinos. But, 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 but when we are corrected, raped, mm. when we are killed and immu immunated, when we are insulted in society, it's like ah, another one will be born. Yeah. How do they know? Because uh -huh. even now, every day, the world, the way that the world is becoming harsh, for some people that are introverted, it's going to be even hard for them to come out. True. They might even die in that closet. Has it gotten harder? And I, and I asked this question because when I was growing up, you stood out immediately when, when you were in the, in the sexual minority. Almost immediately. We knew mm. so and so. They became popular names in the township, you know, yes. and so forth. And, and, but they didn't come out as quickly as easily. Has yes. it become easier over the years or more difficult to come out of the closet? I think in recent years it has become easier, mm. especially if you fall in the sexual minority that are in the mainstream media, okay. if you are straight looking, uh, if you are overly firm and butch, like okay. your last season with your okay. nice mustache and you have your hair, whatever. Okay. Gotcha. And and if you as well, you are like uh, in, in drag, but gay, but okay. not a drag queen. Okay. In drag, that that's why we had uh, uh, in 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 res, uh, in the past, like Bosomis when they were wearing mm -hmm. dresses and all yes. of that. Yes. That is drag, but in in gay life and whatever. Mm. So if you are from the mainstream, it is easy to come out. But if you are me, you are drag queen and you have this thick voice, yeah. and 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 sometimes you can sort of like tell a cheetah like hey bafo we and son you you sort of stand out because now the mind cannot comprehend because what did what, what we're dealing with what you are dealing with you're expecting a lady uh. to talk to you but you have this thick voice Jeez. and you have this whole energy of masculinity uh. and even a gym like i could see how people look at me because the amounts of weights I can pick. <laughs> they are just looking like So they're expecting you not to be able to. Yeah. 
I know it, there's a comedian that says, Oh, Papele, a Papele, a gay guy. Who's a trap? Because they're still a guy. Yes, so you're still a same, guy. It's the same logic, really. It's the same logic. You're still a guy through and through. How do you go to the toilet? And I asked this question yeah. because you're wearing a dress. In a public pl toilet, what happens? In a public toilet, I go to disable. Huh. Because the minute when you enter a guy's toilet, yeah. <laughs> you feel hell. <laughs> what happened? What have you tried it? I have. Well, you you have probably had to. I have, and people will be hiding their pickles. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, dude, I also have one. But anyway, yeah. I'll look forward, and then when you're about to go to the thing that is washing their hands, and you like see if there's a person standing there, they'll sort of move away as if you have like contagious thingy. What? And then the minute when you close the door, you will hear like mumble chats and or, giggles and because you're wearing a dress yeah, and you're in their toilet yeah, in their toilet in their toilet with along and then you were like okay so so with me when that happens that's when i feel like i don't belong yeah. so even now i go to the disabled and even at work when you have functions put up my hand is that this i can see you are saying male female is the one I'm nine pioneer. And the thing I love about my current employees is that currently mm. they are focusing on this awareness wow. of gender inclusivity. Did you find them like that? Or, or your presence is probably pr propelling this even faster? No, I found them like that. But okay. yeah, because it was things that started like years back before okay. I joined. Yeah. But now they're having like sort of workshop about gender diversity and all of those stuff. Mm. Yeah. Do you walk around with, with childhood scars of any kind? I do. Is there one you're willing to, to, to tell us? I do. I still think I am not appealing to look at because you remember when we are growing up, when you had dark complexion, mm. that was not regarded as beauty. Yeah, yeah. And I hate myself the way I look in terms of posture because I'm a big guy. You can see yeah, the shoulders. Broad shoulders. Broad yes. shoulders and whatever. I don't. Yes. But at the same time, I love it. So it's like an internal conflict that I, I cannot resolve in any way. Mm. And as well, not living my life because I still cry for that 15 years. Eh? A lot could have happened that 15 years. Yeah, you could have done, well, you could have done a lot, but you also done a lot. <laughs> you know, for, for someone, because like, when I was reading your profile, you did so many, you studied so much that there's so many qualifications that you've covered over the years, but you're saying you could have done a lot more. The reason why I say so is because one thing that I have to tell you, by being in the closet and studying so much, mm. Uh, you tend to be a child in social settings. Ah, good point. Like with me, I'm one of those people, if we are having a party, I'm the one who's going to be the wildest. Oh, no. And at my age, turning 37 this year, yeah. you no, know, I need to grow up. <laughs> because sometimes, sometimes like we have small issues in the yeah. friend setting, I will make it to be such a big issue. Jeez. Because I know I'm right. I'm, my point must be known. <laughs> And, and we are people, we are living together. and Just calm down. Calm down, you are going to lose friends. So you recognize the slight, uh, that you still, there's a part of you that's still a kid. Very much. Jeez. Especially in the social settings. So your maturity has been, has suffered essentially. Yeah, because the first friends, that's why I couldn't even mention it earlier on when you were speaking about friends. The first friends that I had, it's when I came out as a, uh, as, a, as a drag queen mm. here when I moved to 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 Palm Ridge. Jeez. That's when the first time I could make friends. Because you were yourself. I was myself. Suddenly I had people to go to on Saturday and talk about stuff and laugh. Well, how easy was it to make those friends? What was it about those particular friends that you it became easy for you to make them as friends? They are older and they're from my community. Ah. And as well, they have allies that I swell into the group because not everyone is homosexual in that group. Mm, mm. So, so there's a... They, you see, you have It's like, a strong community. It's a strong community <laughs> because because sometimes you you get uh, shut at because you're still a child and you you do something and you yeah. you talk out of turn and 
you will forget that this person is actually the same age as your auntie or something like that. You know? And you know, as Africans, the, the age <laughs> thing is... Uh, you, you, <laughs> you have to respect. You have to respect your, your words yeah, and your elders and everything. And and I'm quite vocal. I'm quite confrontational at times, mm, mm, especially mm. when you add a bit of liquor in there. <laughs> yeah. you, you see, so, yes. so this community, the reason why I love it is that they don't hate me for that. They allow me to do all my madness. Mm. But tomorrow when I'm soap, they're like, horse. When? What was that? Then I'm sit down. I need to explain. And you're happy with this? I'm happy with that because for the first time, I feel like these people are growing me. Yeah. Not, de no, not depressing me down or compressing me or whatever. They're making me to be a better individual. Yeah. Wh when did you come out? It was... Uh, I came out silently okay. when I left the marriage. Okay. But that's I, not long ago. That's not... Uh, 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 2020. 20, 20, yeah, 2020, 2021, yes. I don't know about that. Yeah. That's very recent. That's very recent. But I came came out. Yeah. In, now pu that's public coming that's out. That's public coming out. It was uh, around about November last year. What is the difference between a silent come out and a, pu a public one is obvious. What is a silent coming out? A silent coming out is being discreet at day. And at night, you are part of the sexual minority. Okay. But in closed doors, if you oh, get what I mean. Okay, okay. No one knows. Yes, there's a closed community that's aware. They're, that's aware. The ones that you are interacting with. But it's not public. Out there, you are a guy. And if guys are bashing uh, the sexual minority, you are part of the choir, you bash as well. <laughs> and, and hopefully you don't show that. You are... Your so one. that is a it, so but then it's easy for one to stay in the in the silent coming out for a long time. It is. But for me, I reached a point of where I was saying that I'm unhappy. Mm. I drink every weekend. Oh boy. I'm not becoming productive because now that I came out, one of my papers that I'm I'm currently busy with that comes from my PhD mm. is actually being accepted with major revision. I'm now busy with the revision. Okay. Now I'm productive because because I'm one of that person that I don't like having qualifications, just putting them there, and not using them. Yes, yes. When I did the PhD and completed it, I wanted to be a functioning a PhD holder. Okay. Yes. But now the PhD was not happening. You had it, but you were not practicing. I was not practicing. I was having parties and parties and parties and parties. Why were you partying so much? It's because at that partying setting, it's where I can be allowed to sort of like let loose and be yeah. yourself. So you wanted more of this. Yes. And, and I'm like, Spoo, you want more of this. So why don't you just come out? If you still don't have family, you don't have family. And surprisingly, the the support that I got from my elder brother Usia and my mom Mamkin. Yeah. It's been amazing. And even my sister in law and 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 her brother as well. It's been yes. amazing. And like my immediate family, like my mom and my brother and their immediate family, mm. they've been accepting. Tell us about the, the, the moment then of coming out to them. What was that? I I can I cannot imagine it. If I was with you two weeks ago and we were bashing girls or, or gay people for that matter. Yeah. And uh, two weeks later, you come out and you're wearing a dress. Hey, WhatsApp status are so amazing. <laughs> what happened? WhatsApp status. I went to this party. Mm. I was dressed. I was dancing. I think it was Dinah Ross song, one of those 60s songs. Okay. I was dancing to it. And then the caption, they said, I am finally free. I don't care about your questions. Are you wearing a dress? Yes. Wow. Okay. And you then put it on WhatsApp status. Put it on WhatsApp status. I saw. Oh, Babum Kulu saw it. Okay. Oh, Auntie Margaret saw it. Okay, sharp. Oh, I know the ones that will sort of <laughs> like. I'm, oh, this one is all okay, sharp. Ah, that means the message is received. <laughs> and 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 no one asked me what. No one called. No, no, because I locked the gates because there is one proverb that my aunt Usmangel used to use. It's mm. like, uh, it's a Zulu word. It says, Angeneking fana no tswai, utswai usukela uklinyam. Which means that you are not easily manipulated. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I am that individual that at times, 
You lock the gate and no one's going to enter. Tell me this. Has anybody raised it since then? Has anyone said, Smul, as Kulu? Not really. Oh, when was it? When we watched Big Brother, when I came home last year, mm. uh, Cape Town, my mom was like, Ooh, in the Amtan to Sister Mara, you was a guy. Who has named Tananjan? I knew she wanted to start the whole Sister Mara was thing. Was Sister Mara? A, 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 yeah, she, 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 she's like wearing feminine clothes okay, or whatever. Okay, okay. I knew what she was doing. I'm like, oh. She was starting up a conversation. She was starting up a conversation. I'm like, oh, mom, I'm coming. And I left for three hours. I came afterwards. <laughs> You're so great at avoiding. <laughs> so you just completely avoided it. Yeah, because I want people to have a direct agenda that you are talking about this. Don't come with me with Sister Mara's story. Mm, don't look at it. Just come straight and tell me, my child. Yeah. I can see dresses. I can see your WhatsApp pics. I now looking more like your sisters. What's happening? Never. Never. So, brother? Brother, brother would say, would just say that, ah, Sbu, I can see you are living your life, eh? Sharp and done. I'm like, okay. And that's that's good enough for you. Yeah. Do you wish there was a conversation, though? Does it matter to you? At the moment, I think I'm happy that there's no conversation. Really? Because I still have scars. Because remember, you don't enter a closet in your own free will. Yes. There's what we call an internal homophobic behavior. Okay. You know, non-verbal cues, they hit the heart. And with me, the non-verbal signals, I don't know whether I'm receiving the right signal. Now I'm speaking from my perspective. <laughs> of course. It was that it's not on being me. Did you pick those up? Of course. you must. Yeah, I, I picked them up. And yeah. given that as well, I'm so close to my parents, they don't want to be a disappointment. Jeez. So there was, yeah, you know, you know, interesting, you say this, it's such a clear point when you say it, that there's a lot of non-verbal cues. Yes. Even in the family setting. Yeah, like, like for example, when you sit as a guy, you cross your leg, yeah. and then if you are like too tidy, mm, uh, yeah. he's always too neat. Yeah, you see. Or, or for example, when you want to sit with your mom, <laughs> yeah. You see? So much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's just a few examples. A few examples. And there's a lot of those, like, for example, hey, Usbu Lamalanga. Oh, boy. You see? <laughs> you are like, okay, let me change it. I'm really shocked at the fact that, and maybe I shouldn't be because of how we were, how a black community in South Africa has always been. I'm shocked that. There hasn't been a conversation. No, there isn't. And you've never seen the need to raise it. No, with me, it's the moments that when I raise it, because I'm still hurt. Uh. David, I've got a sharp tongue. Ish. People um, who, um, yeah, so people's hearts are going to, and my mom is like turning uh, 72 this year. Uh, you have to be gentle. And so I have to be gentle. And I can't fight it because... That's the social structure that she grew up in. That's it. That's why I say I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, and, and one thing that I've made a promise to myself, my fam my parents will go to that grave without me insulting them. Yeah. That is a promise I'm willing to keep. And the scars are there already. So me venting at my mom, is it going to return the 15 years that I lost due to being in the closet? Mm is going to return my confidence because I sort of feel, especially when you are part of a regulator or something like that, yes. you feel as well like if I go to an external uh, institution, whatever, mm -hmm. will what I say demerit because of the way I dress? Because remember, drag queen come from entertainment world. True. And most people, especially in the m mainstream uh, sector, they still think uh, entertainment is for people that have a, a lesser thinking capacity. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's not true. Not at all. Y you see? Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid about such things. It's interesting. How has workspace been? How has that world been for you? And let me, let me ask mm. it simply. Yeah. When you were working for one of the big banks, did you ever find that maybe it was time to come out and you just couldn't because the work environment didn't allow for it? The last one, uh. the one that I was working for, 
they definitely saw the signs. Okay. Because were I, you deliberate? Were you intentional? I, I was deliberate and intentional. Okay, okay. Because it was that period when I, I was about to to sort of like do the act. Okay. To to visit the heaven. Okay, got you. You, you yes, see, yeah, so I you. so I was like, guys. You didn't care. It's I that moment where you didn't care. Yeah, I didn't care. Even even the performance at work, it uh, yeah went down the trend because I knew. Ugh, come next year, a uh, financial period. Mm. Um, I'm not going to. Yeah, to, to, to be uh, around. Yeah, I'm not going to be around. So even even now, I don't get a bonus. Sure. You see, so that was where. But, but what sign did they pick up? What sign did they see if you say they, they saw some signs? Hair color changed. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> of course. And not in a muscular way with a nice cut or bebop or whatever. Uh. No, nicely. And I'll put gel as well if I want to. And, and this this was all of a sudden? All of a sudden. I got you. And then I would sort of put... Uh, Pons. Uh, Pons is a lovely concealer <laughs> that doesn't show that uh, you like makeup because it makes your face feel like a bit puffed. Yes. Yeah, we put Pons as well and exaggerate the lip gloss a bit. And so you were quite intentional. Yeah. It, it, would you then call this a slow coming out? Because that's really what it, it sounds like, even the way you tell yeah. it. Sounds like I'm one day at a time. Yeah, one day at a time. The reason why I was doing like that is because I wanted to be an incoherent uh, uh, deviant. Yeah. <laughs> because everyone in this community, they want to sort of cling to heterosexual norms. Yeah. I wanted to show them that I can look butch, but I can as well look feminine, but it's up to you what you decide. Whoa. And Jeez. like like in every workplace, what did they do? Keep quiet, shy away, shy away. Well, like, like most families. Yeah, shy away. Like shy most away. families do. And I'm enjoying that. Did the guys... Any guys at all distanced themselves from you? D those that you probably interacted with before? They can't. <laughs> Why not? HR police. <laughs> we are busy now with a culture of inclusiveness. Yeah. And you still want to grow in the company. Are you really going to start at an individual that you can see that is so vocal? He's not going to keep quiet. Mm. He likes the spotlight. If you do something wrong, if you they, do will, something they will wrong, out you. <laughs> they will out you immediately. Are you actually going to take that risk <laughs> in this high unemployment in this country? Yeah, so so they just played along. Yes, and they played along, and I played along as well. But you you understand the challenge that they would face uh, of someone, and it's similar to what I said earlier of someone who you work with, you've been working with for a while, and a kiss boo kill out, yeah, and then the following day, suppose he's got pawns on, suppose hair is different, yes, and kiss boo kiss kill out. Yes. And then suddenly, there's, as you said, it's one day at a time. You keep yes. adding nail polish or whatever. Yes. And putting acrylic as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. So they saw this progression. Yeah. And they just pretended they were seeing nothing. Yeah. And I even love when I look at the progression because back in the day, I used to leave a bit of mustache, okay. which is very wrong if you, you have our color because even the makeup... Mm. tends to stick here. Oh, and, yeah, on the, on the and, beard. Yeah, yes, on the beard. Looks, yeah. And then as well, having exaggerated uh, uh, what you call uh, eyeshadows and, and not linking up, you seem like a clown or, or maybe <laughs> putting too much puff. Mm. But slowly... So I'm, you were, were you, were you also saying you didn't know what you were doing? Yes, at first I stumbled because I was in the closet for 15 years. <laughs> yes. and, uh, and at that time when I went into the closet, I was not working. Yeah. So I didn't have money to buy all of these products. <laughs> you couldn't learn. I couldn't learn. So much to deal with. Yeah, and I learned. Now, when I walk in the mall, I can buy me a pipe. I'm telling you, at the mall that I stay, I can buy me a pipe. You can see some ladies, they, they, there's a love or hate in their eye. Mm. Even some of them, their husband, they will say, I can't do anything. I've been ufana no chow. And and when I walk, even you can feel my presence. Just. But yes, I'm here. <laughs> you know makeup better than most mm, ladies. I can even tell you. I know chow. You can use this. Nah. Jeez. Not on this. And clearly, this has been a, a a learning, a process of learning, and as you call it, an mm. intentional process of learning. But yes. you wanted to get this right. Yes. Why such a and I'll ask it innocently. Why is such a commitment to this? Do you know why? Yeah. Because I want to make sure that they can see that being drag queen 
is not only being an entertainer. You can find a drag queen that is a thinker. True. That is why at the moment, even where I work and even in my private stuff that I'm doing at the PhD uh. with Vets, I want to make sure that I excel. I do acknowledge that in the past, I wasn't excelling mm. due to all of these things about coming out You've or whatever. You've been dealing with it. I've been dealing with it. But yeah. now, when 2023 started, I even posted on TikTok, I said, this is my year. Wow. That's when I told myself that I am going to excel. The transition hasn't been easy at work, but you, you've you embraced it. Yes. Was there ever, again, I ask, because I think this is where we learn. Was yeah. there ever a need for someone at work to say, uh, Smu, let's have a chat? No. No one has said nothing. No. Remember, we are living in a nice era now mm. whereby... Everyone is embracing inclusivity. True. Whether you have your own gender, whatever, as long as we are in those four corners at work, mm. you will abide to the rules. You're protected. I am protected. They, they, that's when even, even my gayness, even the way I walk, mm. I remember we were having one of a celebration recently at work. The thing that I was wearing there, it was a, a leather dress with a slit. And I was wearing it uh, uh, with a tight underneath, mm. and I was juiced up. I had my uh, the 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 coat that I have here, but I didn't put it on. I was putting it on on my shoulders, okay. and I was feeding myself as I walk in there. I got what I wanted. Everyone was looking at me, <laughs> and I made sure I go in front. So that to give opportunity, there's other people that are delayed in response. Yes, yes. They must see this magnificent art piece that is walking into the room. Wow. And I made sure. And when I sit, I'm like, even when you sit, you posture, you turn. That's what I've always wondered. And I'm glad you're saying it this way. Why is there a need for exaggeration? And I say this yeah. because, and, and this is the ignorance of this, of this understanding. They are binary. Male, female. Yes. Let's see, let's remove the guys for for the sake of this conversation yes. and look at just women. I've, we all know women's behavior. Mm. They are not as exaggerated as you were on that day. There were ladies in yes, there. Yes. But you were, here's a lady and here's an exaggeration, an exaggerated version of a lady, which would be you in this context, yes. in the story that you told. Yes. You would then go a step beyond yes. and say, even when you speak and, and I and maybe not necessarily mm. yourself because with you I can still tell a, a guy is still yes, present definitely. but there's sometimes a very loud and exaggerated see me I'm talking I'm loud I'm I'm a guy I'm a girl mm. that's why even even gay guys I know Warren Warren uh, one of the actors uh, Warren played a, a, a gay guy once mm. before and he was very chomy this is how we do it chomy mm. but girls don't speak like that you know why? Because we fought for our, our femininity. Okay. It's like, for example, to put it in plain, simple context that you can understand. Yeah. Like, for example, let's look at the UK uh, royal family. Okay. Do you think any of those heirs will appreciate money the way you appreciate money? Of course not. Because they, they have it. It's been there. It's, yeah. They grew so, up in it. Yes. Yeah, so ladies have been... They've we, been women. They've been women. <laughs> yes. We had to fight our way. And f like for me personally, mm. I don't want to become a woman, but I like the feminine energy. Yeah. And I have fought for so many years. I have even enjoyed scars that I don't think they will ever be healed. So if now I'm living in a world whereby I can dress as I want mm. and still be taken seriously, oh boy, I'm taking that chance and I'm going to make sure that you know it. Wow. It's, it, it's, eh? it's, it's like showing the middle finger to the rest of the people. That's what it you're is. Like, you, you're, like, you, you're like, yeah. You, you, you can't show the middle finger half. Half. You have to show it fully. <laughs> That's what you're doing. And constantly. Yeah. So that people get the, the thing that you are here and you are here to stay. And one thing you don't want to be regarded according to your sexuality. You want it to be regarded about what you bring to the world. Yeah. That's why when even when I speak about homosexuality, I always take it to the academia mm. perspective. Because no, you if, do. if you take it to the academia perspective, there is a little scholar that might be listening at your podcast and, 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 and might be intrigued. A PhD project might be born. 
and more insights might come into this community that might help the world. Yeah. But what I'm currently unhappy with is that most of the nuggets about our community they're still in channels that are not easily accessible to everyone. Mm. And uh, academic research that nobody not everybody can read. Yes. Huh. You see. So Let, let's talk about your your wife. Mm. When, when when you met your wife, you were Sbusisu. Yes. The guy. Yes. Who saw a beautiful lady and yes. thought I could form something here. Yes. Tell me about that guy that always been mm-hmm. having this 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 female energy mm-hmm. and saw this lady as not only just a girl but a potential wife a potential girlfriend and 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 and, and, and. Mm. tell me about that that guy and his state of mind at that time okay so the way it started didn't start with the intention of getting married okay you enter adversity everyone is having girlfriends mm mm-hmm. Everyone is having sleepover. Spoo is not having any sleepovers. Oh. What's happening with Spoo? Mm. Spoo always is sitting in his room. What is he doing locking the room? Yeah, man. So there was rumors, you know, rumors at uh, hostels. Uh. It got out that hey, he might be. Can I get a porch? Yeah, porch. Yes. For us, <laughs> it's <laughs> That's yeah. where you were. That's where I where like. I, that. I like that environment. It's such a yeah, it's, a schooling environment. Yeah, it's, such a, it's <laughs> nice. I mean, even uh, it's quite Afrikaans, but yes, given is. that I come from Velkom, I'm used to Afrikaans, so to me True. it wasn't a stumbling block. Yeah. So, so basically, at that time, people were becoming suspicious, and last time when people became suspicious. I was called Istaban. Mm, mm. So I cannot be called Istaban. These are people that I might be working with very soon. Yeah. And I'm just starting adulthood. Mm. I can't start adulthood with all of these guys from the childhood. Yeah. You must change. You had a choice to make. I had a choice to make. Whether you come out because yes. that choice remains. Yeah, the choice remains. Always. Always is there. Yes. You can come out or or you cannot. Yeah. And then I had this friend, we used to talk, we used to chat. I knew she had a crush on me, so capitalized. And with my capitalizing, uh, the unfortunate happened. She fell pregnant when we were still in second cool. year. Ooh. And then now I come from a, a, a Christian family, remember? Mm. Out of wedlock? Out of wedlock. <laughs> so find yourself in a marriage <laughs> and wait wait i understand all of that what's going on in your head in my head at that time i'm like it was my daughter because there's a significant when my daughter was born yeah and it was also the breaking point because remember even when i was dating her i had my shenanigans out there So I had a release outlet. What type of shenanigans? The the type that allowed you to live your life. Yeah, I, I would date. Okay. Because I was not staying with her. Mm. I would date other kinds, but and remember it's a diversity. Everyone is hiding. Yeah. If you, if you want to know when where after nines are born is adversity. They hide it so good, eh? Wow. These guys that you never even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's the life you were living. That's you were life. dating this girl and you were living the after nine type of yeah. life so to speak but when my daughter was born i was like i need to make an example yeah and then i sort of went into the closet Whew. but guess what when going to the closet i think i did more damage to my child than if i was out mm. because now she's left confused so do you feel if you had had a chance to do things differently what would you have done Uh when she was born I knew at the time and I had the courage at the time. Mm. I should have just came out. My, but you also had a wife to deal with. Complete but, complete your thought. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm going I'm going there. Yeah. And as well she was still young. Uh. She can move on. And as well remember in some Limpopian uh tribes or whatever once you get married you sort of like as well lose like Uh, the right to have house in that state especially when you are married outside okay that state you okay. see so by marrying her i've actually as well taken that right oh 
Do you see? So, so the effect on her life is profound. There's a they, lot more. There's a lot more. But if I came out while she was still pregnant, I don't think we'll be having all of these issues that we are having currently and delayed divorce that is taking almost four years to complete. Because there's, you file it, I wait for you to run out of your money, then I file it, you wait <laughs> until I run out of my money, then you file it again. Oh then, oh So boy. that is the... <laughs> it's a tennis match. It's a tennis match. It's, it's a costly one, but <laughs> given that I'm still a child, I'm willing to play. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm glad you know your child side. And yeah. one day you will grow up. I hope I grow up. Eh? You must. And I, I and I start buying a house again. You must and stop renting. Ish Buffett. You must grow up. I will up. grow up. <laughs> I would definitely grow up. The relationship, you get married, you continue to live in this marriage. Yes. As a someone who's not quite comfortable in it. Yes. But you carry on. Surely there must something must have said to her, this guy. Did she bring anything up besides the sexual the sexual activity? She would bring it up. She would like, hey, but you are different than other guys. And my tactic, lock the gates. And you ask her, Utin. And then she's like, but you're not acting like other guys. I'm like, hi. You you know I'm special, so don't expect me to act like other guys. Yes. Yeah. And that always worked. That always worked. Because I would change my face. <laughs> to say that hey, I'm not interested, hey, or or I will even tell her, do you want me to go to Vets and go and study because it seems like you are bored of having me around. Yeah, and she knew when I went to Vets, I might come the following day. Jeez, because we had uh, what is it, a PhD room? Uh, yeah. Were Were you a decent husband? Were you a model husband? Or, yeah. let me rephrase, Okay. were you trying at least to be the perfect husband? Because you made this big mm. commitment to get married. The I would say the first 10 years, mm. yeah, I shame. I give myself 10 out of 10 there. Wow. I there. Are they any woman in South Africa would want to marry me? Shame <laughs> if they could get that resume. Yeah, the first 10 years only, only, yeah, not the <laughs> after. Hey, the after, because then I was not sleeping home. Jeez, because now remember when you are closer, there comes a point whereby you can't take it anymore. Yeah, I would disappear for we in a weekend, I would disappear and do what avoid it or go live your life. Go live my life, especially in the latter when the marriage was about to end. Yeah. That was a life I was living, and that is what scarred me. Yes. Because I was raised in a place whereby they say that if you are married, adultery is not good. Yeah, you must respect this. You must respect it's a it's a covenant or whatever they, they sing about it. And now I'm going against my religious norms. Mm, mm. And then things like, for example, that work whereby you need to optimize some table arrays and whatever became less important. That led to a deterioration in uh in the work performance. You were just living your life. I was just living my life. Wow. Forgetting that I'm an adult that is employed. And married. And married. And a father no <laughs> Here. Yeah. All these responsibilities. All of these responsibilities. It, it does it then speak volume about the importance of coming out. And I say this yes. this way because if you were willing to give up so much just so you can be free, surely it says that freedom is very important. Yeah, it is important in a sense that I'm going to start like a series called YouTube mm. and there's one uh, season that I'm planning to do starting in July. Yeah. So that season basically is going to be talking about hashtag closet kills. Ooh. That's where I will be unpacking in detail all of the snippets that we saw. Because there is a... Like, like, for example, what are the effects of uh, voluntary rape syndrome? Uh. Uh, what happens when you are mispronounced, uh, when you are called a she? What is the actual... Because I'm currently doing literature review. Mm. And what is the role of religion? The reason why I'm using literature, I don't want people to come because these are sort of like 
hot topics, but e, yeah. no one wants to talk about it. Yes. But the first one that talks about it will be Judge Hashley. Of course. So you on, are you're first in line. You are first in line. Yes. And I hate being the first line of defense. Eh? <laughs> so I rather You'll be the most injured. You'll be the most injured. <laughs> so I rather rise uh use uh what is it, the slogan of Google Scholar uh, that says that stand on the health of the giant. Mm -hmm. So I'm standing on the shoulder of the, the giants. Giant, yeah. Because they are the giants. They they are the mainstream that fit. And I'm finding so many articles. And some of the topics that we're going to discuss the, the So you are researching a YouTube channel like you're doing an academic paper. I like that. That's what I'm used to. <laughs> I, I can see that. that's my training. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I'm looking like, for example, looking at other podcasts. Mm, mm. Because I have to say, what actually inspired me to write to you is when you interview uh, Professor Mamkhet. Yes, I mean, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, the things that you were discussing there, I, I wish mm. in the next coming years, I become like a... It's COVID. I rather would like a COVID. Yeah. It's what is this again? Load, Load shedding. shedding and uh, we have an inverter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, can, I can hear the sound. Eh? <laughs> the beauty of an inverter. <laughs> we just... I want to mm. show off to you that we have an inverter. Sorry, you're talking about mamukit. Yeah, you see, like for example, for uh, a woman in a country whereby there's toxic masculinity and all of those, she yeah. can stand up for her own right. Yeah. And she can... Because even with me, I studied stats and economics. You would never find a person with my kind of skill focusing on research about a sexual minority. True. It's an un because you, we would expect you to be doing something else. Yeah, to, Not, be, to, to maybe studying like cryptocurrency, yes, what is happening exactly. there. Yeah. Is there any optimization or maybe doing the things that they're currently wanting to implement in banks? Yeah. AI modeling from a market risk perspective. Yeah. There's a lot of things that is done there. But you are doing... <laughs> yeah, big data. I mean, big data is such a big thing at the moment. Yeah. And everyone is talking about the fourth industrial. But, and easy. Well, and, busy, Ali. Busy, Ali. Because it, it matters to you. It matters to me. And I feel so happy when I'm holding a page or, or a paper from a journal of, of some kind about talking about sexuality. Mm -hmm. Like there's this one paper that I read. It was talking about Israel uh, lesbians, mm -hmm. that they are called coherent uh, deviants in a sense that once they get married, one needs to transition. Yeah. So that they can fit the heterosexual norms. Ah. And then that's when me, because I like being the know it all, I'm like, I'm going to term it opposite. I'm going to be an incoherent a deviant. <laughs> because it's different. Which is different to what they say. Because yeah. unfortunately, the the learning from a PhD point of view, if for example you are reading a text and you are not adding something, True. I you're such an academic. It's so amazing. The whole point of a, of a PhD study is to contribute to yes. to learnings. Yes, you can't just rehash you can, and reprint yeah. and produce. Mm. You have to make a contribution to you have to make a to, to society essentially. Yes. So you're already reading that and saying, ah, uh, there's that, another way here. There's a because you need to find that gap, yeah, that niche. Because if we are looking what these kids are doing on TikTok. This upcoming LGBTQ, although some of their strategy is misguided because we have lost the whole sense of pride, what it was supposed to be, mm -hmm. and given that we have not reached our end goal, but I like their boldness. I'm a 2000. <laughs> they are the one that are even making us uh, the 80s to be even brave. Yes. I mean, they would wear their crock tops and they would wear it even better than young girls. I was like, geez. <laughs> even, 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 even the way they put their wigs. <laughs> you're like, I wish I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you look at your life now with happiness or with some doubt? How do you see it? How do you look at yourself when you, when you are standing by the side and say, oh, you've come a long way. What do you see? I have to say, when I look back at my life now in hindsight, yeah. I can see why I went to all these challenges. Okay. That's why now even negative comments can hardly affect me mm. because I know that I'm, I might have not become a doctor. I'm not, I might not have been Dr. Spusiso. Yes. If, for example, I've lived the truth. But given that there was that mm. stumbling block of me not reaching that point, yeah. that's what even makes me to be bold to wear a dress. Mm. Because remember, 
when I got hired at Reserve Bank, when I appeared in my new, in in the what is it the interview which was done uh, via Teams due to COVID. Okay. I was a guy there, but the first meeting when we met, I was dressed so feminine. Wait a minute. When you were interviewed, yes. you were interviewed during COVID. Yes. You went in as a guy. Yes, I was a guy. Proper guy. <laughs> like And I can play that posture, role very well. Of course you can. I can play it very well. Because you've been that most of your life, essentially. Hey, I'm so good being a guy, hey? <laughs> it's you, actually you, interesting yeah, even you even, even threatening other guys is so good, hey? <laughs> really? You just make the voice to be taken to about for and Manch. And then you see, and then... So that's what you did. You went to the interview as a guy. I went into an interview as a guy. And about your first day of a physical contact. I was girly as ever. Oh, boy. I was girly as ever. And like in most situations, nobody said anything. So I'm not going to say anything. Even now? Yes. But the treatment there, I have to say, uh, it's, it's very nice. Yeah. Especially in my team. The they people are, that I'm working for. They're good. Uh, or, or maybe it's because they are mostly my peers. They're mostly born in the 80s. Mm. We are sort of like at that age where we are not judging one another or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So I have to say, currently, I'm not having challenge at the workplace in terms of who I am. Do you know, I saw, I saw someone that posted, a, a lady that posted a, 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 on, on Twitter. She says a picture of Brooke. Mm. Uh, you know, Brooke on uh, The Bold and the Beautiful. Mm. Are... Um, Hi, sis. Sorry for judging you so harsh. Now I understand. Because <laughs> mm. Brooke dated everyone <laughs> in uh, the Forester. Basically, mm. she's saying, we judged when we were young. We are older now. Yes. We're able to kind of get what was going mm. on. So I guess it's exactly the same that you're saying. People who are slightly older, yeah. their level of understanding tends to work. But slightly yeah. older. There's a big difference between, I'm a 2000. And this born in the 80s, 90s. Mm. And much older like your 60s ah those ones yeah they won't understand you easily so with me given that even the reception they even asked me the first time when they saw me what are your pronouns i'm like it's a he and everybody has not miscorrected has not mentioned it is. everyone is a he and i'm part of the team yeah there's not like oh Sbu, are you wearing a dress today yes. oh Sbu, are you doing this it's about to work if for example we need to do some stuff on on some of the regulation that you are working on that are going to be implemented by the banking system yeah it's about that do you wear because uh, ladies wear pants and ladies wear 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 what you call it uh, jeans and so forth do you wear dresses more often than not i wear dress more often than than even the average girl yeah but there's time i haven't yet practiced gossip mm. there's time whereby I change completely. I become a guy. Ah. <laughs> With the suit and everything else, no nails, everything else, even the conduct. Just to confuse the enemy. <laughs> but I have not yet practiced that. <laughs> but you, but it's coming. Why would you do that? <laughs> because I'm non-binary. I guess. Okay, all right. Do you see? You, I got it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, you, you, I, I have to move along with you. Yeah, I you, got you. you. You need to have pointers of emphasis. In your life. Yeah. But the moment, if I do it now, it's not a greater impact. But why not? Why not now? Why, no, why? no, not now. Not now. I'm still new. <laughs> they haven't yet seen what I can do in terms of my skills. <laughs> what skills are you talking about? I, I'm, I'm, t I'm talking about that work, you know, when you come in, you do work. And then over the work oh, that you do, okay. you build like okay. your reputation, whatever. Yes. You see when I'm there. And they're like, yeah, it's Coco Seke. That's when Uta's <laughs> Buah at it a tab of a ninja. So see? you could easily even go to a meeting as a, a guy, 100%. I have lots of clothes of guys. Of course you would. Because be, be, because even my, the 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 people that I date currently, if they didn't come with a pairs of shorts, I have nice pairs of shorts <laughs> of guys. <laughs> Don't I'm, like, I'm like, I, I need to go. I'm like, no, you can take a shot there and a t-shirt there. That's it will look nicely. And I like fashion. Uh, like dressing people. Like, no, mix this one and this <laughs> one and put that all star of mind. Yeah. Oh, all oh, seven. Okay, sharp. Use that. Wow. And then and then I dress them. Do you still buy guy clothes? No. I have a lot of those. Why would I do that? So there's no need. There's no need. There's, you don't sometimes 
And I go back to your non-binary mm. statement. There's ever a time where you say, oh, that, that, that jacket looks nice. It's a completely guy jacket. Do you know what I like from guys' clothes? Yeah. Digis. Really? Hey. That 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 because uh, it's a, it's almost like a tzotzi look. So you see speak. you see Dickies and, and and you buy the one we call it half brown the the one that shows the ankles. I see that. And then and then you you put it with an all star the leather one. Yeah. And then you have like a golf t shirt, <laughs> and then you have a sporty. You, you turn it up <laughs> and you tilt it, and then you bounce. Oh, <laughs> and you can do that. I I've done that. What guy is it? Yes. And then but oh show me what's happening. I'm like, life is happening, sweetie. And I'm not giving you the opportunity to sort of like question me. I'm moving. You, you, you'll be left amazed. It's, it's your own issue. Deal with your own devils. I guess that's, that's truly being non-binary. Yeah. Because we don't know what to expect today. Yeah. <laughs> that's really your life. And I like them all. Eh? I mean, that's why I make my statement. Eh? Because it's always packed there. <laughs> And it's always packed by senior citizens. Do you, like, I, do you like an audience? Yeah. And I, I know everyone knows me. Yes. If I enter that mall, they're like, now nah, show me. Yeah. And I'm happy. I'm like, yeah. Finally, you are getting recognized. Jeez. Have you had to practice how to walk in heels? Because I know I wouldn't manage. Yes, I had. And I started when I watched uh, what you call this pose. Uh, Remember Pose in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in recent years when it was playing on Netflix? Mm-hmm. The person that made me to sort of embrace the feminine side, it was Electra. Okay. Uh, Dominique yes, is her okay. name. You see that lady, the way she walks, the way she talks, <laughs> the way she, she demands attention. Yeah. I'm like, girl, I wish you were my mother. <laughs> you need I this. wish you were my mother. Ooh. And that's one of the factors that made me to come out this way. Yes. And even in this temple that I came out, is that serious. So you feel, and you say in, in the, the, way, the way you came out, you feel there's been a, a pace in terms of how you came out? You come out as in, I have to do it and do it quickly. It was a paste. Yeah. Because at first I saw pose. Yeah. And then I went through a phase where I would cross dress with my wife's clothes when she's not there. She's Whoa. at work. Okay. And then I moved from pose and then I sort of went to the articles, learn about um, GRID, mm. uh, what they used to call AIDS, uh, gay-related yes. e- immune disease, mm. and and became a political weapon in America. Of course. You see, and yeah. then it was only prioritized as a necessity when hetero started to die. Mm-hmm. And then that's the stage when I became angered, but I went reserved. Hey. And then that was the passing of my dad. And then I was like, I'm free. Passing of your dad, and it, it's the second time, even in, your, in the notes you gave mm. us, you speak of it, yeah. clearly is a point of, 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 that has to be noted. Even yeah. you had to note that moment because it meant a different life after that. Yes, do you know why? Although I'm, it was a bittersweet moment, yeah. you, you are losing the person that you want to still embrace his philosophy. You you love him like I love my dad, mm. but due to the marriage child situation, I couldn't be with my dad. Yeah, you know, uh. you are married. You know the dynamics. Jeez. So I feel like as if I've lost so many times, and but at his last moments when mm. he was about to die. That was when I was free, but he couldn't see in the eyes. Ah. So he couldn't comprehend me. I've already changed, but, okay. but he, because he had diabetes. He couldn't so, quite notice. Yeah, he couldn't see. <laughs> you would hear people in, like talking, hey, hey, I want to go to buy meat or whatever, uh. at, at meat company, whatever. They would talk whatever. They would say, well, what big end? I'm going to go back. Then I would just move on. Because I know my dad couldn't see me, but the, the topics that we talk about, and him telling me that, although I can see you are never close to me, just know that as your father, I don't blame you. I love you, irregardless. So, so do you think that whether he said it in so many words or not, he had accepted who you were or who you are? Do you I, think he may have accepted it, even though he didn't I, I say think, it? I think so, because... Our family is one of those families that are trying to be quite modern, mm. where adults they have other uh, WhatsApp groups. 
<laughs> yeah, that's quite common now in yes. the Gassi families. Of course, of course. So something might have, because not everyone is blind eh? yeah. in the family. So of course. They, I think it was his way of saying that, uh, I acknowledge you, Ndwane. I see you. I see you. And when he passed, that's when my anger against the woman that I married became higher because for all of these years, I was not permitted to see my dad. Ooh. Now my dad is gone. Mm. at the moment so so you find as if like you're over blaming an individual for your own scars yeah and one day i'm still saying one day i will have to go formally go apologize because the raft that she got after my dad's passing Jeez. it was uncalled for yeah i was supposed to give to the family members that are senior still in the makakula clan mm -hmm. because they are the culprits Cause, cause you, it was not her fault. It was not her fault. Truth must be spoken. Yeah, we mustn't be hide. Like, for example, yes, I, I was in the closet. Yes, it was a transgression against me, but I did something wrong. Mm. That's misleading. Do you know, because even the way you said the statement that she, you were not allowed to see your dad, but that was largely your decision. Yes, because yeah. if I wanted to see my dad, I would have made a point. Yeah, it's it wasn't her. It wasn't her. But you blamed her. You blamed her. You find all excuses. Th that's why. That's why I like the academic world. You always find an argument that will support your argument even better. Even if your argument may be wrong. May be wrong in society. In society, <laughs> especially when you find those papers, the highly cited ones. <laughs> I've already picked them up in finance. Yeah. But now I'm trying to pick them up in the in the sexual minority. Once I pick them up. Ah, you see flames in the papers that I will publish. Should we expect another, and, and I think the answer is yes, another document, another paper or a paper on, on sexual minority from you? I'm busy now drafting like the series that I was talking about, hashtag Closet Kills, yeah. with 10 episodes. Each of that episode, I'm busy with literature review and a method of looking to them because when we start with an episode, mm. I want to engage with one of the professors that are in that field and we are going to write that paper. Jeez. Because the season one is going to talk from a narrative perspective whereby you are reading what has been read out there, mm. what are the gaps identified. Mm. And then season two, it is then going to talk about, given what we said in the past, where is South Africa at? Because the only way you can tackle the, the legal system it's when you have documented evidence. That's true. Yeah. So if, you, if you're just talking. If you're just talking, you will be another. How many people have been complaining about being called stubborn? Has anything been done about that? No. It is now time that we bring it into their face. And if they, they are not accepting, I mean, we can use our qualifications. Mm -hmm. Because I can create a determinant model that can, that can determine which are the factors that drive our GDP. And then I can inform our LGBTQ people because some of us are well educated. We like let's depress those factors. Yes, wow, man! I, I must tell you, your your academic side makes me happy. <laughs> okay, not that any other side yeah, doesn't, but this sure. one when you when you change into academic mode, <laughs> it, it pleases <laughs> me. <laughs> it pleases you. <laughs> it does. I'm a yeah. I'm a huge fan of academics. I don't know why I don't I don't do a PhD once and Just be go like do you it. and be like you guys because you already have a master's. <laughs> I do. I, you you see, I, I was watching your show. <laughs> you know, I really you see that. you already have a master's. So <laughs> just one step, David. Yes, it's I'm, only five years. Eh? Yeah, and then it can be less. It can be three years nowadays. If you do it smartly, I've seen individuals doing it in three years. It's I, not easy, but it can be done. It can be done. Yeah. No, we'll talk about it off air. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> no problem. I like it when people encourage me to do it. Yeah. Well, your current life existence. What What still motivates you to 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 do new things? What is it that matters about the future for you? For me, what matters about the future, at the moment, in yeah. the current moment. Uh, is becoming excellent. And I will tell you why I keep on going to excellence. Mm. It's because the minute you are taking the social structure, yeah. the way I am attacking it at the moment, people will find loopholes. And guess what? Everyone got loopholes. There's no one that's perfect. That's true. But I need to make sure that my loopholes are not destroying to what I'm trying to build. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hence, it's why at the moment... I'm not in a serious relationship. Yeah. 
because I am still married. I'm not divorced yet. That's true. Now, if I have a serious relationship and I'm not divorced, who's going to listen to a country that is so religious and so against adultery? Yes, I may have some individuals that you see them once in a while because I am human, Yeah. after all, but I refuse to have a committed partner at this point. Mm. You're because you're married. I'm married. Jeez. But, but you said your marriage might take long to dissolve. <laughs> but I must wait. <laughs> yes. There, there, there's something about being principal. You must also be principal in situations that are not favorable to you. Yeah. Then that's when you know that person's got integrity. You can't only be principal to issues that sort of like, for example, now I'm like, I'm principal. I can wear dresses. I can walk in the mall and everyone can see me. But when coming to the issue, given the the demographic that I'm living in, that yeah. is very religious, and then me going to be blatantly having a, a, a un, an unauthorized isi temp. That's what it is. You, you, you see? <laughs> and having that i, yeah. i, i, in public, is anybody going to listen to my tough series when I talk about closet kills? No. They're going to just look at the mistakes. That's what it is. Like, right? for example, ah, what can we listen to? Hello? Chola mm. so. Chola so. He's trying to tell us how to live our lives. Yeah, because even me, when I date now, I even date younger people because I know there's nothing that I can gain from a young person to do yeah. not be serious. There's something you said earlier. Yes. After nine, hey, we only read about this stuff. Does that world exist? Hey, it exists, eh? It exists. Joburg is nice at night. <laughs> I'm telling you, Joburg is nice at night. All, some of the uncles. And these are people who are, or during the day, as you call it. During the day, they're guys. They go to work, they're wearing suits, they're leaders yes. of industry. Yes. And at night. At night, eh? Hey. There's this song, yeah, how Siri, bring back the night. Uh. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. So that world exists. It's exists. not just written in, in books. Johannesburg, guys, for sexual minority. Yeah, it's a bliss. There's a lot of activity. You see Long Street, Cape Town. Yes, that's what uh, I know. Uh, Bramfontein, the dead student strip of, of clubs. Uh, oh, brilliant. Um, um, uh, yeah, sure. and as well, places where you find crates like uh, taverns, the mm -hmm. traditional taverns yes. where there's no chairs. Whoo, that's very nice. <laughs> you will see it all. So, that life exists. You will not find it, of course, in well establishments that are quite popular of because people of reputation will never show themselves because they know the world ways at in terms of mindset, yeah, and. Unfortunately, powerful people, they don't like being hurt financially, hey? So, without saying too much, because frankly, this is yes. not an Mkosi platform. Yes. So, there's, there's, there's a lot of, of, of powerful people who are living a double life. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be us. We have all of this information. It's nice to be us. None to shame. But why is it that there's such respect for secrecy? Because clearly... As you say, we know all this. You say you know all this, but no one is saying. Almost like there's a there's a code you you that you have to live by a code, and the code is what happens here stays here. L like with me, like for example, given that I took so many years to come out, yeah, I would have been angry if anybody prematurely brought me out. Uh -huh. For me, that's why. I'm bounded to secrets. I'll never share like because you understand the value I, of that. I secret. understand it's a journey. Yeah. For some, it's not a journey. They are they are born being a sexual minority. They embrace it. They have the guts, and they're like that. They're out. For some of us, it takes us up until we are 34 to actually find the courage to come out, sure. and you have already missed your your hyper years. There. Uh. So it's a journey. So with me, I firmly believe that. No one should be prematurely outed. Yes. If they're in that world, they're in secret. Mm. I know closet bands. So why? What is the closet bands? <laughs> uh, like, like, for example, the closet itself being oh, the closet oh, bands. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes. It bends, eh? Yes. So why? Kashisa. Kashisa, yes. Lapa. So why now do I need to be diabolic mm. and add more fire? 
Yeah. Did anyone add more fire to your situation? To my situation, would I have even survived if anyone has added fire? Yeah. I would have not been here. So I do embrace people's secrets. If you're after nine, it's fine. You're born or here? Okay. Okay. And move on. And move on. Enjoy life and move on. Has anyone shocked you? No names. I don't care about the names. Some yeah. I could see. Some I was shocked. From a distance. What yeah, I... some I was shocked. Eh? Even, even, even the non-powerful people. Okay. Like a normal Kasi guy yeah. that will approach me at one of these dingy places, the taverns. And say, hey. And say, hey. How are you in Tuana? Is there a lot of 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 like I don't know? It's a lot of competition for because there's few. You always refer to it as a minority. Yes. So it's not a lot of people. In, yes. So is surely there must be a few relationships, and a few is a big yeah. word in this context. But you get what I mean. There's few to go around. Yes. And there is backstepping. There is, and can I tell you, drag queens as. I shame is Tina Sisbega Siakal. Amongst ourselves. Really? Amongst ourselves. We are very little amongst ourselves. That's why sometimes when you meet another drag queen, I size, if I speak with you, it's a sign that I don't respect you. But if I look at you and I go down, up and down, and I sort of give you the attitude, that means you are my peer. <laughs> that is a that is a vote of confidence. I'm acknowledging you <laughs> by 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 growling at you. <sighs> yeah, by yeah, growling I'm, at I'm you. I'm saying, I damn it. Yeah, you are my peer. But <laughs> but if I'm like I show my nana, I so that you're means nothing. that uh, you are not even equivalent. You leave your boyfriend here. You come back. He's gone. And when he's gone, uh, innocentia is gone as well. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 see. <laughs> so those situations arise many times in our world and you must learn to deal with it civilly. You can't, you cannot be fighting. I'm tempted to ask because there's, there's still mm. a masculine energy mm. in, in that context. Is there ever violence? And I say yeah. this be because these are guys now. These are not girls fighting over a guy. These are guys. They still have the masculine uh, strength as well. Or I don't even know what Yeah, but, but, but remember, with being a drag queen, when you are flamboyant, yeah. have you ever seen a flamboyant person fight? A oh. uh, fashion forward person. Uh, mm, they don't. It's, it's all about, like, for example, if you take my person, I'll wait up until you will find a person now in it. I think it's um, tight. Yeah, I'm so kill and I'm. Come down to Ganjan. And then when I'm done, I'm like, I show him, you remember, Mutsu. Uh, mm. Or oh, maybe you remember Tabo. I bought you. I was <laughs> so 33. You see, you always find a way to justify it. <laughs> so funny. So, so 33. So 31. 31. I show you. Are we really fighting now? So this, this, it never gets violent. No, it never gets violent because remember, especially as drags. Mm. Hey, we are in danger species, Buffett. Yeah. So we understand that. And amongst ourselves, we may fight, but never come into our discussion. Okay. okay. I will gang up on you. Okay. Even if one of us was wrong. Okay. All right. That's how we are. Get society. Get society. And it's a pack. Yes. You can't infiltrate. You can't infiltrate. We will fight inside. Yeah. But no, you can come in and, and fight us. Yeah, because with me, I'm exposed most to drag people. That's why I'm finding it difficult with these new friends. Yes. Because they are gay. Gay and drag is different. Their philosophy is different. Do you do you easily get along? Hey, from your perspective? We we don't, eh? Uh, we have clashes. What are the main uh, 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 confrontational uh, issues? Uh, like, for example, they will call me Ndombi. Okay, you don't take that. Because you identify yeah, as a he. he. Ndombi. Hi, girl. Hi, sweetie. And then now when I talk with this voice of mind, now I'm softening it because now I'm wearing a dress. Hi, Buffett. I am not a singer. I can't be, be <laughs> doing tunes and, and, and adjusting them every time that I talk to individuals. So you don't do that. I don't do that. This is how I talk. When I'm wearing a dress and if it's too masculine for you, ah, yeah, sorry. So already being identified as a girl in, in the gay world doesn't work for you. Yeah, because it's an insult. Because 
Like, for example, everyone, this is known. That's why I can say it. If you are a femme gay person in a South African context, hey, you will be judged, hey? Yeah. I if guess. you are gay and uh. femme, and, and these are just people still dressing like guys, but they've got that feminine touch. Okay, okay. How do you think the judgment is? They see this incredible hug. He's wearing a dress. They don't know whether he's coming for fight or he's coming for <laughs> happiness. He's walking here. He will be judged. Yes. So, so, but why does that in any way affect your world? It's because there's not many of us that are out there. Okay. okay. And I've recently moved to a new place. Mm. I don't have that connection. So what's the nearest thing? It's gay, it's individual. True. And we are clashing, eh? Yo. And they are old as well. Given that I've got a sharp tongue, I give them sometimes. And, <laughs> and I, I now be reprimanded the following day, like, hey, we are not your peers. Eh? And I'm like, I'm ah, sorry. <laughs> but finally, I've given you my thought. At least you know. No. Do, have you, do, you, do you then have a drag friends? Currently, I don't. And I so wish I can have. you. I so wish because currently, people that are in the mainstream that you are seeing, they are not drag, they are trans. Okay. And as well, that's a different whole yeah, yeah, world. Yeah, that's another one. That's, that's another a, version. That's another version. Can I just meet my society? Yes. Drag queens. Nigu upi. Nigu upi ma drag queen. Can go see him. Uno ma chiyang kaila ke. Please, come out. Hey, send us a WhatsApp or comment and say I'm here. Hi, nga kaila ke. I would like more friends. Have you had drag friends? I have met drag individuals okay. while I was still straight. Oh. And I guess that's why God is punishing me. Eh? <laughs> because I had to act another way because I was a guy getting cheat. Mm. Maybe God, that's why he's, he's like, I'm not going to give you drag friends. I was giving you friends at that time. You said no. Being all macho and pampered, <laughs> thinking the world will give you all the stuff that you want in life. When you want them. When you want them. Oh, shame, you are not going to get it. So you, you, then you're describing a lonely world as well then. It, yeah, it is. It is a lonely world. Yeah, because we human beings by our nature, we want to belong to a community of people. I guess that's why I'm so obsessed with the academia. Yeah. Because I feel when I read a paper, let's say, for example, we are talking about... Uh, reverse uh, closet syndrome mm. whereby your parents are falling into the into the closet space due to what would other people say. Okay. When I read, like for example, especially the way the literature is captured, mm. they will say that so-and-so is saying this, so-and-so is saying this, mm. these people are reaching consensus. It seems as if I'm in the panel and I'm and I'm listening to this person saying that view. Yeah. This is the person that's saying that view. And then the person that's right the, the, that's like the the eat girl or the mm. eat boy mm. will say, Yes, the gap is this. So this is my paper. This is what I will add. Wow. So even when I read it, that's why I could read like sometimes at, at one pace, like five articles. Yeah. Because as well, I stay alone. So I like acting. I will be making up voices and then write <laughs> notes. Before I know it, I've read five articles. Yes. And I have concrete information. Jeez. Because people must learn to work smart, not hard. Yeah. Because if you work hard, Buffett, you'll drop out from doing PhD. That's true, eh? Because the amount of revision, you know sometimes you write a nice paragraph, you read it. And prof, we'll look at this. Uh, just try these three articles and then just read their, their literature review as well. Stretch it again and come back. Yeah, I have meetings, eh? <laughs> you have to go. Yeah, I mean, you know vets, professor, they don't play. Just you don't come and waste their time there with mediocre work. Yeah. And then you're like, this said this, this said that. Because my prof would tell me, okay, this said that, this said that, they agree, they agree. So what, what's the gap? Mm. If you can't put it in two sentences, even if you schedule four hours so that it ends there. You're done. And then getting a slot, you are going back to the waiting list. You might get it in two weeks' time because she's a busy person. Uh -huh. Just... That's when I learned how to prioritize an individual's time. Yeah. Because even when I was speaking with Noxie, like yesterday, I was like, I am going to send like the draft that I sent to you. Mm, mm. I took time to know why. Because not everyone did come and ask to be in the platform to talk about their story True. and they're given a chance. 
Yeah, well, I, I, I would hate to say that we, we get a lot of requests. Yeah. We say no to a lot. You see, <laughs> yes. and then me, I become chosen, and then now I act pompous. Yeah, because I'm a non-binary trans pansexual <laughs> attempt that doesn't even exist in the technical term. Well, you will bring it to light. You, you, you see, it's now your job to bring it to light. And then I get this platform. Yeah, you have to research. No, yeah, because because yeah. also you were not surprised when you got an inquiry from us for no. a write up. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was already busy like writing up and okay. doing notes and then yesterday when I got your inquiry I was like okay even better let me put my CV in a story form yeah. so that I don't because like CV is so impersonal like giving you the ID who's when something ID no it's yeah no what where do I stay none none so I needed to give you like an autobiography and you did and yeah you did. Like, like for example highlight the salient points yes and not everything no you did we, we completely appreciated how you how you wrote it I remember going through it thinking geez man she yeah. wrote it so well oh listen to me saying she he wrote it yeah. so well do you get mistakes like that I get that mistake but they don't offend me do you know why? Yeah. It's a new world. It is for everyone. And and we are so inundated with so many changes. Yeah. And to you, sexual sexuality taxonomy, taxonomy, it might not be a preference. No. You might be interested in something else. That's like true. Like broadcasting, because broadcasting is, is even hitting miles and miles because now we can actually see what the other people are doing mm. on the other side. Because I like watching, like, for example, like your KFM or whatever, and your Radio 2000, whereby you can actually see the individual the videos, discussing. Yes. And, then, and, then, and then you tend to learn, like, how do you work? Because I, I was always asking myself, why isn't there, like, a person on radio over speaking to another person? <laughs> Because in a, in a natural setting, that the, happens. Human beings talk over each other. But apparently when looking at the cues, when you are watching live we radio. We use hand signals. Yes. yes. And that's when I noticed that, <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah. And I like seeing what is in the black box. Okay. <laughs> what black box is that? Like, like, for example, if something is not known to me. Yeah. I like to oh, investigate Oh, you want it. to know what's in there. What's oh, no. in there? Let me tell you, there's a lot of hand signals. I haven't done a show where I'm doing it with someone in a long time. Okay. But whenever I have guests, oh, I point a lot. <laughs> there's, okay. count, there's clocks that are counting down. Because you may not know, say you're a guest, you may not know that we're about to go to an ad. I know. Okay. And I would say, I would tell you to look at the time and you find okay. the time is, is counting down. So you've yeah. observed it on, on, on these. Yes, I observed <laughs> it and I was amazed. I was like, Okay, that's why. <laughs> because, for example, there was a show, I don't know, uh, the late Oprah, Oprah Pop yeah. was doing. I was listening to it, but to me at that time, because I was young, yeah, I didn't understand because I can't hear you sing a lap, and then there's one that's reading why these people are not speaking in a natural setting. Because <laughs> with me, when I model stuff, I want to see stuff in real life. Yes. If, for example, in real life, people over talk to one another. Why this element of art? That's doesn't why doesn't have that. Doesn't have that. That's why I'm saying, as a as a human race, mm. as long as we are nullifying the arts, will never ever grow like an everlasting. Uh, how can I put a culture? Yeah, yeah. Because, for example, for us to be described to be to be differentiated from other species, if you look at early humans, mm. it was from art. That's true. Yeah. Why most of the stuff they're digging is art related? Does yeah. does that mean from a theoretical perspective, is art linked to what you humanity is? Mm, mm. We it, find we find more artifacts. Yes. <laughs> in in that context. We find more of the stuff on the walls and pottery and things mm. like that. Like with me in my case, when I watch ballet and people dancing ballet. It evokes emotion in me mm. and I become emotional. I feel the peace. Yeah. If art is not that important, why is this drag queen tearing up? Because <laughs> I don't I don't easily tear up, eh? Why am I tearing up? Yes. <laughs> tell tell me though, as we conclude, what do you have to say to that young boy Oko Velko today, if you had to give him if he had a chance at life once again to start again, right from the beginning? 
What, with all you know now, what would you tell that young boy? I would tell him that become yourself. Your family already knows. They're just hiding because of people's syndrome. Yeah. Uh, because if I've done that, and you can say I'm quite an ambitious young person, mm -hmm. I would have been far. Much just, further than you are now. Just much further than I am. Yeah. Like even remember when you're working for a company and there's a poor performance, flag onto you. It delays your promotion. It delays your exposure to critical projects. True, true. And the second thing, I would have become a better son to my mom. Yeah. Because now the way that I am, I it's like I've opened the, the, the floodgates of communication. Mm. I gel with my mom because the reason why I didn't gel with my mom is because me and her, when I am the male perspective, we are not chatting, but now we chat. Mm. She even told me the last time that, um, Tanam, I've been seeing your dresses. Can you get me one of the dresses? <laughs> Do you think when I was still married, wow. we would have that conversation about get me one of the dresses <laughs> when you come to Cape Town? That's such a big deal, eh? That would have not happened. Like, for example, your mom is saying that Yes, you, you see, so those are conversations that... Wow. And and she's she's like, oh, back on your bed, and I'm away. So, so because she's never had the conversation. Yes, and, and and you probably don't see the need to anymore. No, I'm giving her once one uh, worded answers. Do you know why? Yeah, I want her to come <laughs> and say, my child, let's sit down, let's talk about this situation, Yako. What's happening? Wow. And don't tell me about Sister Mara and buy and me the this dress and. Mkwenyana stories and as well I want as well my brother to have a conversation with me yeah <laughs> about this situation and not saying you know I they see. support you but they haven't spoken yeah it's, it's not fun when a person say I see you see what <sighs> Re remember in academia we need specific yeah. specifications That's in true. order to evaluate the problem <laughs> or, the, or get a solution it can be vague it can be vague the hypothesis can the, be all over the place <laughs> yes the hypothesis needs to be either be if you look at it from a statistical point of view mm. it needs to be either be rejected at a certain interval or not yeah. and even if you are doing your analysis you need to say are you looking at one criteria which means that it's a one sided or you are looking at two criteria which yeah. is a mean it's a two sided mm. and if you are using a two sided method you cannot validate it with a one side method because what you will get is results that are not matching. That's true. <laughs> you see, <because laughs> it has to be clear. It has to be clear. Yeah. So with me, I don't know, maybe Avant Bating has done something wrong, but me, I like specification. Mm. Even if when we're having a conflict, you can't tell me, let's let bygones be bygones. <laughs> <laughs> it's not clear enough. Bygones on what? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Jeez. And how did you take it? Mm. And how did I take it? And given that this is a transgression against me, mm. how do we move forward to ensure that it does not happen? Yeah. So with the phrase that said, let bygones be bygones, I don't work with me. It's not, it's not. I, I is not going to be clear. You, I need specifications. I'm glad you said that because uh, I will conclude on this point. That is a tip to a future husband or wife because yeah. I don't know what, what, who are you taking? What are you ta When you marry next, what is it? Me, when I marry next... Oh. Like what is what is what is your next relationship? My next or who is your in that context? A, 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 a help us. My next relationship is a guy that will not be afraid to date a strong individual. Okay. Race does not matter. Uh nationality does not matter. Mm. I want a person that will give my time. Is it a, a Explain the guy to us. Okay. Because, because I see you, yes. but I'm not sure I see who, what type of person you date. Okay, so the person that I date, they need to be borderline toxic masculinity. <laughs> really? There's a reason why I'm saying that. Tell me. I'm already muscular. Uh -huh. Do you think I will gel well with a soft guy? Okay, okay, I got you. All right. I, I need a guy like, for example, a guy that can say, I see lab. Mm. And that is that. Yeah. And a guy that won't be afraid that I am at my infancy. 
in terms of being ambition. Okay. I haven't yet started. Yeah. I'm still progressing. Oh. And I'm a strong will individual. That will not keep quiet because of the role that you are playing. Mm -hmm. And I want a guy that knows that in this situation, you may be a guy. But in terms of other acts, the roles might be changed. I don't believe in top, bottom. Hi, guys, we all have the apparatus. Why can't you use them the way we want to use them? Mm, they're all there. Why should, why should we have... Do you know how problematic to have a conditional distribution and model it? As a statistician, we are running from conditional uh, uh, parametric models. And hence, it's why most of the models that are coming out, mm. even now the recent one, which they want to, to use, it's either it's a coherent measure or it's a non-parametric measure mm. because we are running away from things that have conditions like your parametrics that will say things need to be normal distributed, R squared and whatever. So you're saying anything is possible? Anything is possible. Yeah. But at the moment, the individuals that I'm meeting and they're quoting me, I, they're small fries, shame. Are you attracting them the wrong people right now? What makes them small fries in in this in this regard? Ah, uh, like we'll fight over stupid stuff. <laughs> like for example, I buy you a burger. Oh, so 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 you don't want to cook. Uh, you want to show that you are working at the Reserve Bank. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I, I work at the Reserve Bank. You are telling me things that I know. <laughs> I do get paid on the twenty five. Yes, <laughs> I'm not going to cook. Uh -uh. They steers. We'll buy burgers. <laughs> yes. And then a person you go to a bottle store. It's like, I don't know what's happening with a black man. Eh? Mm. They've got Bruce X goes. <laughs> yes, you should know. You, 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 you were you, once one of us. Hey, you yeah, buy you a Jameson. Don't us here. <laughs> like, you don't know us. <laughs> hey, you buy a Jameson Select Reserve. Uh. The guy acts up. Hey, why didn't you buy Gordons? Hi, Bong Pakela Marcos. Why should I buy Gordons? Hi, you must wait, Buffett. I know. Gordons, you must go. In, in in our family settings, <laughs> when we are having ancestral things, there's always a Gordon stage. The Rothmans. The Rothmans. So my association to Gordon's is when you have to show like a man, man. That's funny. So a person comes and say, why are you not buying Gordon's? You're like, you're answering them authentically from your background because yeah. you associate the thing with ancestral rituals. <laughs> so you ask them. I'm going to be offended. Um, are we going to plead to ancestors now? Have you wronged something that I need to know, Brad? And then they say you've got a catchy tongue or sharp tongue. Mm. It's not a sharp tongue. It's being logical in the way you communicate. Yeah. Unfortunately. So you, you, right now, they are small fries. I Right now, I'm meeting Mickey Mouse. Eh? Yeah. I'm meeting Mickey Mouse for the mere fact that you are still troubled about dating a PhD hold. Oh, that bothers you. Yeah, you should find. I, should I call you doctor? Should, I mean, I mean, nigga, you already see me naked. In a relationship, you call me doctor. No, you call me by name. You already. You are seeing me in the most vulnerable state. Yes. So why the formality? <laughs> why the formality? In why the, the bedroom, formality in the bedroom? Talk. I'm like, hey, Batu Buffett, hey, hey, you've seen the past two oh, years. That's funny. I have seen so many things. Should I, 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 should I call you talk? <laughs> and at that time, you're in that moment. You know, you, you know that moment of, of Stella got a groove back. Uh, you are sitting in a posture and the, and the feminine po position. So you're sitting there. Your heel is cramping. <laughs> and this individual is wasting your time. He's asking whether he should call you a doctor <laughs> or not. <laughs> That's funny. And I look at them. I'm like, Ugh. Call me anything you want. Call me anything. Yeah. I, think, I think you're such an amazing person. What attracted me to your story is I didn't believe it. And this is mm. based purely on my ignorance. Yes. Because uh, we live the life that God has given us, a path, and you don't get exposed to certain things. Mm. You don't offer them for whatever reason. You live this life. Mm. And then and then an email like yours comes through. And I say, what? No way. And the way you wrote it. Mm. So she only, oh, he only came out of the closet now. Mm. Whoa. Okay. And married, been married, like, ah, this is a story we have to have. L like to give you like a short snippet, because yeah. uh, it was, that's how I actually became friends uh, uh, with U Unox in Bell, uh -huh. because I'm friends to the mom. Okay, that's So nice. that time we had three liter of uh -huh. wine. Okay. 
<laughs> and you know me, I like talking about myself. Uh-huh. And she noticed something. She's like, hi, Dr. Spoo. Uh-uh. This people needs to hit. Yeah. And then there we are drafting the inmate. Mm. We are taking, hey, drunk. <laughs> taking all this, all this happened in a drunk drunk state, state. White boy drunk. Oh boy. <laughs> and then we are drinking, we are drinking, we are drinking. And then there she takes the PhD uh, certificate, the the thing. I'm like, no, but let's cheat me. They just say doctor of philosophy. David must see what type of doctor. Let's fetch the master's one. There I'm running. Because <laughs> the kitchen, master's kitchen. has the economics and stuff. Yes. yes and then yes. I'm like, shoot it, shoot it. And then they shoot it. I'm like, they just proofread it. I'm like, send it now while we're still drunk before, <laughs> bef- before I become conscious. Before you change your mind. Before I change my mind. Then we send it and fast forward we the story. Yes. You responded. And no, I'm, yeah. I, I'm fascinated by your story. And, I, and I'm I'm glad that you, you trust us with your story because I find it to be fascinating. I really, really do. And I think, as you say it, there's more coming. There's more coming. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And uh, Noma G yes. is coming because they call me Noma G is because uh, from a spiritual perspective, uh-huh. Uh, okay. So, and Gikel uh, it's it's for my maternal and mm-hmm. it's a female. Yeah. That's why I have in chief. I see that. Yeah. So, given that from a spiritual perspective, yes. which is a feminine, that's why I'm uh-huh. saying I'm such a confusing individual. <laughs> from a sexual perspective, I'm a he. From yes. a spiritual perspective, I'm a she. Mm-hmm. So hey, and then my grandmother was a Tsonga lady, Nam Kabel. Okay. So they always put now when there's a MA. Ah, that's so right. with her kids as well, when she was calling them the girls one, they were called Namakakul. Okay. So that's what I usually go in my spiritual journey, the name. Yeah. But when I came to Joburg, you know Joburg, because they like to freelance stuff. <laughs> I was called Nomaji, Nomagooks. Oh. But the Nomaji sticked. And it's still there. It's so catchy. No much. <laughs> it's like it's like this empress or rich <laughs> person coming from somewhere wow. which you have never seen before. I wish you well, in, not only in your academic, in your mm. life, in your your marriage. And I say this because it is what it is. You're still married. Yes. Uh, well could mean anything uh, that you wish for. Yes. Uh, so I wish you well also with your you and your child's relationship. Yep. I, I I pray really, really hard that it gets better uh, and yeah. it becomes to her benefit uh, yes. uh, because she is still a growing child. So Definitely. there's a lot that she will need from, from the relationship. So I wish you I wish you all the best. I think you're you're an incredible person. I really do. I'm mm. I'm fascinated by your story. And I and I, I wish everybody watches it to this point because yes. there's so much to learn from it. There's so much, and and I want you to conclude it uh, by what do you have to say to parents that have a child and they can see there's something here, but they're not saying anything. What do you want to say to those parents or to cousins, to sisters, to brothers, to uncles who are in that in that space? What do you have to say to them? It's only a simple paragraph that I have to say to them. Don't keep quiet. Mm. Don't be nonverbal. It's confusing and it's killing your kids. Just come, just let them to come out at that time. Do you know why? They are building their their, their resistance. Mm. Do you know how hard to be resistant as a middle aged individual, whereby you are a soft egg all of your life. Jeez. Now you need to face uh, this lethal ho- uh, homophobic behavior mm. at work, personal life, and whatever. That's why the the what do you call people dying who are from sexual minorities so high. Mm. That's why the the Akisos around this country mm. with uh, mentally ill individuals from depression and whatever, yeah. they are from our society. That's why people who are currently uh, mostly affected by drugs mm. are these people. And if we don't do that, what coming out of there? It's not it's, it's not nicely packaged, eh? Yeah. I have seen people that went through the same experiences. If you see them now, you not like the results. Yeah. Cause they they are broken. Yeah. Do we want our future leaders or our future parents to be broken? <clears throat> Is that what you want? Yeah. Because remember, when you are trapping a person in, in the homosexuality, 
you are creating like a psychiatric problem. And very soon in this future, if this continue, we might have another serial killer because another person might not be able to rationalize the injustice mm. because, for example, they don't have empathy. True. Just imagine if I didn't have empathy, what distraction would I have sure. with this brain of mind? Mm -hmm. Yeah, You could go anywhere. It's empathy yes. that makes me to say, I'm human, can't do this, yeah. but is everyone who's going to encounter my experience be human? You don't know that, and we don't know that. We so can, anything is anything. possible. So to prevent all of this long paragraph these that I possibilities. Gave, these possibilities, don't keep quiet if you are seeing that you have a special child. Yeah. Because that special child is an endangered species. Mm. And lastly, for those ladies that like laughing at us and don't yet have kids, we are so mm. Just ask yourself, question mark. Because I think when my mom gave birth to me in 1986, she wasn't expecting this, given the, the gender I was born with. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you'll give birth to. You don't know what your, grand, your grandkids are going to be. Yeah. So are you going to judge so prematurely? At age 16, you are laughing because you're standing with two tabs at shopping. Mm. So they laugh. Yeah, they laugh. Especially when they've been caught Playing with the hairs, biting the thing. I'm like, oh, girl, I've been doing that very long. Not going to end good with you, eh? Mm. Yeah, you need to play hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I've seen it all. And this kids, You're laughing back. <laughs> they will laugh. And I like, and if they laugh, I'll make sure I shake myself. You'll see the lady, her face will drop because the guy's attention will shift to me. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a queen. My existence will be known wow. when I'm around. It's Dr. Spoo. Yeah. Mama G, is it? What is it? Noma G. Noma G. Yes. Wow, man. Noma G. Eh? Yeah. I wish you well. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, David. Do people get, catch you anywhere? Social media? Uh, so TikTok, it's at, um, uh, what is it? At Spuda. Yes. 1986. And then uh, currently, because I'm starting this whole journey of telling my life, yeah. obviously, with the help of my manager, yes. we'll start like a Insta page because okay. I love photos. Yeah. Uh, we'll have, I don't know. You spoke of YouTube when, when that came Yeah, yes, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we are looking in July. Okay. The reason why I want to do it prop. Uh, we cannot be shooting on phones by face. <laughs> These are not bad. Eh? I, I don't know because I'm new to the podcasting These world. Are These are not bad. Uh, they're not bad. The technology has gotten really, really good. Is it? Yeah. Just have to get good lighting and good sound. People get irritated by bad sound. Okay, so yeah. so the, we are taking pointers. We are taking this. No, yeah, yeah, bad, bad sound. Yeah, so people tune out. People are likely to tune out a lot quicker with bad sound, and they're likely to to ex to to accept your your mess with a bad picture. <laughs> but sound is a tune out, it's proper tune out factor. Okay, so yeah. so get yeah. the sound right, get the camera right, get the background right, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you shoot it. Don't overstress yourself. Don't change your sets too much. Make it make it easy. Because then you're shooting here today, and then tomorrow you're shooting there. Have a bit of consistency in what you're doing. Makes okay. it make it easy for yourself. Make your videos short. Don't be like me. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I, I'm just imagining the amount. Yeah. No, no. Make it short. Don't be like me. I I'm just a curious person. I like people's stories, so I can't stop. <laughs> I want to carry on. Yeah. So don't be like me. Make them nice and succinct and to the point. Because twenty minutes, give or take. Don't make them TikTok on YouTube. I don't like that. Because yeah. you can might as well load them as shorts. So make them nice and let us learn something from every episode. Yeah, because with me, I was thinking about 45 minutes. That's it. See, the, first, the first 15 minutes, we yeah. focus on what the literature is saying. There you go. And then the, the, the another 30 minutes, we now talk about my life. Yeah. So yeah. good luck. I wish you well. Thank you so much again. It's It's been mm. a pleasure. It's two hours and 54, 54 minutes. We've done well. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, that day we can talk, Matthew. Yo. <laughs> Oh, Take care, everybody. Okay, I hope cheers, you enjoyed cheers. this. This was a lot of fun. I loved it. <laughs> Absolutely cheers. loved it. Take care. It's, it's Dr. Spusiso. Uh, 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 what is it, Dr. Spusiso uh, Makakula? Yes. King, King David Studio Podcast.